Okay. So you're not going to die immediately. No. Okay. That's all I need to know. No, I've succeeded one. All right. Because my first turn, I was uh, already. I was. I yeah. didn't die until the end of my first turn. Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Crabby D and D. I am here with my players, Suds. Suds. Yeah. Holland. Hello. Sam. Hello. Simon. Hello. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. Sorry, forgot my thing was muted. Hi. Hi. And Infernal. Hello. Okay. Holland, you still playing? I am still playing, but I will be done shortly. I'm just mid electo fight. That's fair. She so, is the worst. She is. All right. So, user announcements. Thank you, Zenosa, for all the artwork and uh, all that you see here that has been wonderfully crafted and created um, by Zenosa. You can go and check that out. Uh, the audio and music is otherwise provided by Tabletop Audio. Um, very good service. It's free. You can use it on your browser. I recommend going and checking it out. Uh, maps were made by uh, by moi in incarnate.com. I'd recommend you go and check that out also. Also a wonderful service, and I can I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, it is a wonderful thing. And I think that's everything. And this is done in a tabletop simulator. There you go. So let us continue on with our session from last week. <laughs> last session, our party of adventurers. Elzian, Quaglod, Sasha, Malcolm, Byrne, and Rook. After heading to find the Plague Lord and find his location and take him out, the party arrived and met with a, a reverend, a sweet individual who otherwise was a fan of the party. And after talking and getting to know one another and him revealing that he is in fact the Plague Lord in disguise, the party felt less compelled to kill him. And in fact, he was becoming more of a friend to them. As they were discussing the various matters of what would come next and how they might try and ambush the Prince of Blood, a form appeared to them, a form powerful, strong and imposing to a certain degree, but not aggressive. As first noticed by Felipe, then Queglod, and as he materialised, the rest of the party saw the skin scribe floating there, speaking with a level of dominance and understanding that the party could otherwise relate to, knowing full well what he was capable of. With a discussion of a plan, and his non-hostile intent very much coming through as a using them for his own means of escape out of the Prince of Blood's clutches, the party knew that their next step was to complete Rook's axe, and to do so was to get the amber hidden in Webvile's lair. With the party's decision to rest for the day and teleport in, they had done so. With a perfect chance, the party arrived exactly where Rook previously had landed, within the lair itself. Looking around, it's not as windy as it was before. Instead, it was a perfectly encapsulated dome of ice this time around the lair itself, and the interior of it was covered with a thin layer of smog and mist, whereas the inside near the base of where the lair otherwise resides was a thicker layer of this heavy mist and fog. With the party arriving with a clang and otherwise a loud entrance into this lair, they woke up the sleeping beast, Webval. And as he arose from his slumber, he turned to the party and proceeded to engage in combat. As the fight proceeded, various things occurred, taking full breath weapons and being saved by a protection laid down by Queglod from, um, from times gone by in her book. The rest of the party engaging in close combat before he flew, uh, flew out, Malcolm going uh, taking a significant amount of damage and Byrne proceeding to follow up with a horrendous amount of damage. But with that taken care of and Elzion on the floor, succeeding a single death save, Elzion currently lies there, unconscious, only a few feet from the statue which holds the blade in its hands, with the amber set within the main hilt of the longsword. 
We already have initiative rolled. So we'll get straight into it. So. Let us continue on with the initiative order as... From the top, Rook, it is your turn. You are mm. currently surrounded by mist in this lower level. You cannot see anything. You see burn otherwise. Just about land and uh, float just a few feet from you. His large wings are otherwise float. broken and coated in ice and frost as he floats there, just down in front of you. You saw sat. You saw a burst of lice, light, lice, light, as Sasha released a flame burst upwards and is otherwise somewhere ahead of you, but you can't see where. Not clearly anywhere. A burst of lice. I just wanna the reminder from last session. I did say I was gonna cast flying when I was coming down. Were you cut? Okay. Were you because you, you cast fly on yourself and then you yeah, traveled over? Yeah, I'm gonna down, cancel it, and recast it on all chaos. Oh, I thought you were doing that next turn. Yeah, because when you... it comes to around turn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's when it comes I'm to your turn. The it's Rook's turn yeah. at the moment. We'll I, get to yours. Yeah, no, I just want to say that I remind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. Just so they know what the plan is. Okay. Yeah. okay. With that in I... mind, you hear. You hear Burn as he otherwise floats down, saying that he's going to help you get out with the use of a fly spell. Okay, well you can't use... You can't hold action and movement, so... I am going to... Sorry, you know, I haven't really got much else to do, so I'm just gonna... Take two potions of healing... And hold my movement. Okay. With the intent of going where? Uh, if I succeed trip. my wisdom, well, if I if succeed my wisdom saving throw towards where Vol, if I don't, I might just go fuck off and hang around with Felipe for a little while. Okay. So <laughs> with that in the uh, with that in the case, I'll let you roll your hit points out of this. But for now, roll me the wisdom saving throw for the frightened, please. And uh, nope. Nope. Failed. You remain frightened as the sound of the beast nearby, but otherwise not knowing where its existence lies. You hear it, kind of, at this point, grasping for air somewhat, given its slightly more injured nature within this combat. But its growls still haunt you from the various encounters you've had with this beast. So... Uh, go ahead and roll your hit points for the potions you'll be using, as it is the lair action. So, as the lair action, I am going to be using the third profile for this. I would like everyone to roll me a constitution saving throw. Elzion and Malcolm included. You can roll one for me, I'm still not in. I'll roll one for you, Mal. Uh, burn. Yeah, you succeed, Burn. You got a natural 18, oh, plus your con. Oh, Am I rolling here? Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, I can at least do them. <laughs> he says six. You're we'll fine. Plus. You'll be fine. We'll yeah, be fine. Uh, We're gonna survive. Okay. Uh, Elzion, are you in and rolled? And Malcolm as well? I... What What am I rolling? Constitution saving throw. I'm, a, I'm unconscious. What I know. I'm still asking okay. to roll them. Okay. I've got a... 23. 23. Okay, so you succeed, so you'll be taking half damage from this. Uh, uh, Rook. Hmm. How is he hitting everyone? I'll tell you what the lair action is in a moment. What was yours, Rook? 16. You're fine. Malcolm, you're fine. I can see that natural 19. Burns, 26. fine. And Queglord? Uh, 24. Yeah, you're fine. Elzion? Well, I want a natural four. So Keep in mind, five. you'll be taking half damage even if you you succeed. So yeah, either so way, I'm... you'll be taking a failed yeah. death saving throw. Um, however, uh, Elzin, you're the only one who fails. Frost begins to gather around you. During your next turn, your movement speed is reduced by ten feet. Should you get back up? Oh my god! <laughs> my movement speed. Is... <laughs> yeah, everyone else is taking half half of this cold damage for a total of one point of cold damage because great rolls. Um, so everyone right. takes one point of cold damage with the exception of Malcolm because you're immune, but you wouldn't be immune to the um, movement speed penalty. Yeah. Which is why I had you roll. So, yeah. so my resistance yeah. basically means nothing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you can't half the one. So, so everyone's that resistance one, did... Half one to zero. Yeah, every, so everyone took one hit point because Elsie and I can't remember if you're, you're resistant to the I did, I cold. Did, I did, did drink the cold potion. <laughs> so you take one point down. of cold damage. 
<laughs> and it's enough it's chilliness. My, to... <laughs> my, my body is dying slowly. Um, yeah, and everyone takes one what, point of cold What damage. did he do to make us all roll it? As, as, uh, as you're kind of feeling the air around you, you feel it uh, get distinctively colder and colder as the mist begins to coalesce and freeze right. around each of you. Okay. As the environment is getting colder as... For one reason or another, he seems to be willing it to do so. <laughs> Fucking uh, actually. I've come to the conclusion. I think we need a bard to help me with actually, my sleeping froze. <laughs> yeah. Well, Anyone who's. Was, le- hmm? was that his lair action, Chris? That was his lair action, which means. Yes. This is gone now. Which means he can now see us. <laughs> Now, there is one thing I do want to uh, quickly say. Anybody who is concentrating on a spell, please go ahead and roll Constitution Saving Throw for your spell, please. Oh, what, one second, I need to make a con save. Oh, yes, this I'm is a good con. Just... Felipe should have a save as well. Yes, Felipe should make Not a really. save. And. Oh, yes, Felipe. Oh, he needs to make one. And he's, and he's concentrating on the hit. Well, the con. The... Yeah, concentration fails, Hex. Hex is gone, however, his he doesn't he takes one point of cold damage. <laughs> I need to roll for you. Here, eat my gammon steak and cry. Unless it's a one, I can see. Seventeen, you're fine. Yeah. Mm. Plus everything, you're fine. So with that, Hex fails as you watch as kind of the shadowy fe- uh, feather like nails that had otherwise embedded into him begin to fade and dissipate uh, from his form as his muscles kind of ripple back into um, their former strength as he looks around the arena. Malcolm! Malcolm waves at him. Hello! He doesn't wave back. Uh, I know! No, the I monster! Know. Really? Really, that's what, that's what makes him a monster. Okay. <laughs> yes! Yeah, yeah that's of course. Fine. So, he didn't wave back. So what are you doing, Malcolm? Um, well, uh, guess I'm just gonna keep up my plan of being in his face. Okay. I guess. So what are you doing? Uh. <clears throat> Actually, hold on. I need to think. Uh oh. I need to think if this is even possible. And if it is, it might help. Like possible. Possible is good. Okay. I'm going to turn back into normal Malcolm. In midair? Yeah. Okay. In midair? Oh, yeah. I mean, fly. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. right. Uh, so that makes a lot more sense. So <laughs> yeah, we were just like, oh, I'm going to kill. There you go. <laughs> the way to help kill myself to end my suffering. Okay. As, the, uh, as your form fades, you turn back into your tiefling form, kind of. The cold begins to linger and collect around you now as you uh, turn back your wings beating in the uh, cold air. Just need to check the range of this. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. Oh, I'm going 40, to die. 45, 50, 55. 50, 50, 50's up to here. This is just his 2 he's by 2 in the middle of him. So he's within range. If it's more than okay. 50 or less. More, more. I would like to attempt to cast polymorph on him okay what save is that uh it's a wisdom save use the metal dice double... for this one let me just double yes it is a wisdom save what is the dc uh 20. that is a total of 13 he is going to use legendary resistance to negate that perfect one oh, out yeah. of three i assume you don't know I mean, he could have more. Okay. I mean, That's so a... far it's only resisted one. This, this is yes, just something true. I'm just something I'm going to attempt to be trying to do to get his legendary resistance is gone. So, uh, can I bonus action have Featherwing do the same thing? Uh, use polymorph. Yep, on him. <laughs> uh, where's Featherwing right now? Uh, would be with me. Okay. I'm pretty sure. So on your person. Okay. 
Uh, if you have Featherwing attack in this way, he will not be immune to the Dragon's Breath. Keep that in mind. If you have him engage in this combat, he will not be immune to the Dragon's Breath, so he can okay, be killed. Okay, I would like to ask him first. Is okay. he okay with trying to polymorph him to help save people? Uh, he is currently frightened, and he would prefer not to, as he failed to save on the Frightful Presence. Huh. Okay, then. Not that uh, feeling. <laughs> let's see. What a, what a mood. Yeah. He technically would have rolled a bunch, but I just rolled the one, and yeah. Natural two, and I'm going to cut it. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. In that case... Uh, what is this here? No. Oh. It burns. I guess I'll just... Uh, I'm gonna lower myself down a little bit just in case I do take damage and go unconscious. Okay. I will... Uh, you will be dropping into the fog. Is that okay? Uh, I'm gonna go just above the fog. Okay. So... Oh, no, not just above the fog, but like, I knew where this lip was. I want to go just above where that was. Okay. In which case, I will move you ten feet above this fo this one, which is where the fog is. <laughs> okay. Okay. That that's fine. I want to be down here because I don't have much HP left. Okay. In normal form, so. Okay. His turn. If you're done. Uh. I'm in danger. I assume so, given you used your action and. Yeah, I don't really have anything else I can do with a bonus action, so. Okay. His breath weapon does not recharge. <laughs> now comes the big question. What's he going to do? Uh, let's see. Who would he go In a perfect world. This is this is difficult. I would be awake. For uh, <laughs> I'm not angry, I swear. <laughs> I wouldn't be scared. <laughs> all you need to do is succeed a wisdom save. That's all. No. It's surprisingly harder than I thought it Yeah, that, Rook, Hey, Rook, you want to know what hurts more? Those that succeeded the first time, they can't be fighting for another 24 hours. Yep, I that's, know. that's why I've got the marks down on here. I know. Hello. Currently, it's only me and Felipe that are scared and like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, right. I think Elgin does count as scared, I'll be honest. My two biggest characters. So, Queglod. <laughs> Yeah. As you're kind of standing there running towards um, towards Elzin, who's currently on the ground, you see Webvile's head kind of turns, looks at looks at uh, Elzin, and looks over at you running towards him. Before there's almost a, a grimace across his face as he's going to fly down and stand over top of Elzin and, oh, perform, and perform three attacks against you. Okay, against me? Oh. Uh, no, against Quagmire. No. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure about the thank god, but okay. No, he, of course. Uh, no, he can, kill, he can just use a legendary oh. action to kill him with, with a tail if he wants to. So. No. <laughs> no. So it, no. If, if you become a problem, he can knock you out again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so. he can. But I'm going to give him something bigger to fight. Okay. Uh, Quaglod, does a 19 hit you? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. You can feel the smug in his voice, can't you? That was a low roll, yeah. that's why I was curious. Because that's a 31 to hit on the next attack. And the mm -hmm. last one is a 25 to hit. So all three hit. Uh, yeah, those all hit, yeah. Okay, let's start with the bite that hit. You take... Ooh, bad rolls. Oh, well. eh, it's not bad. Uh, you take 18 points of piercing damage and 6 points of cold damage. Okay, that's before or after being halved? Uh, before. Okay. Yeah, he rolled poorly on the cold damage there, unfortunately. Uh, you then... This all down and then... Yeah, you then... Yeah. Yep, you then got a claw attack coming into you doing... Oh, I rolled the wrong dice. Those are one too big. I could change it. Um... Given that there was a max roll. Okay, yeah, that does change it. 15 points of slashing damage. And then another 16 points of slashing damage. So 31 slashing from those other two attacks. Okay, still good? so 52. Oh! 
Yeah, 52 in total. As he, we as he wails into you, his bite otherwise wrapping around your armor, as it punctures through, you feel the cold seep into your body before his two claws kind of rake into you, your tiny form, some of it barely catching, but it does so as, it other as he otherwise has you pushed against the ground. Snarling, you see his fangs dripping with his own blood. Small shards of ice within the inside of his own mouth. <coughs> that all you got? And still on the skin. Okay. Chris, just ask, Chris, just ask him, what's allowing him to have his tile on top of mine? Uh, he's larger than you to a point where if you get back up, you'll pop out on this side of him. Fair enough. Yeah. It's a thematic purpose, because he could be standing on top of you if you want me to just crush your character. And you'd be super dead. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, if it would help, I can do that. That'll do. Okay, fair enough. That'll do. Fine. Yeah, just to abide by usual rules. So he'll go there and do that. Um, do pog, so, uh, sorry, I just, I just, no, I just no, that's fine. That, that was complete rules lawyering. I yeah. apologize. That's fine. Uh, Elzion, please make me a death I, saving I just... throw. I automatically fail for my bullshit. That's fine. Oh, you're allowed to I roll. I just want to note from Ten. that. Again. Hmm? Chris, I just want to note from that. I had it down that I'd taken exactly 100 damage in this encounter. And I was kind of happy with that, in spite of the circumstances. But then I realized on my... I'd only written down the the extra one damage from the lair action on my, like, uh, overlay sheet. Oh. So I'd actually taken 101, and that's honestly pissed me off the more. <laughs> 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 Yes, perfect. Make the party angry. I, I will get. I will get you for this, Chris. Sure. So, okay, Simon. If you're willing to wear a mask, I'll pick you okay. up and drive to Chris's house. Yeah, let's do it. Because I want. I want to bake his legs with you. I mean, God knows we're not going to be playing the end this evening. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. Not for much then. Okay. Well. I am in a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. This is accurate. <laughs> I am attempting. You are attempting. You are okay. attempting. Okay. <laughs> you are, you are really attempting long what? <laughs> it's got really I'm, long arms. You can actually run away away from it and still not gain opportunity attack. I'm attempting. You can also to move through it because it's a half. Fair point. Well, yeah. Uh, I also have a fly speed because of Big Felipe. Oh, that is true. So I can. Two, three. Fly okay. Over to here. As the large kind of spectral raven wings kind of flap behind you, you take off quickly, soaring around the outside of him as he watches. Okay. I can save Elzion. I can get myself to safety. I can't do both. Get yourself to safety. Mm, okay, because you've saved that, I'm instead going to cast Minor Knit on you. <laughs> I mean, I do wanted me to be a caring person. Has this all just been a life lesson for Sam? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay. what this entire okay. campaign has actually been about. So Minor, minor Knit, knit is cast five plus level, six. but it doubles five, be because... six plus five, but doubled because Elzion is currently unstable. Yep, so that becomes 10d6 plus 10. Yeah, do you want me to roll 10d6 or just roll the five and double it? <laughs> Up to you. You can you can do either way. On. If you I've want more active... here, so I'm just rolling. Yeah. Down. Okay, so 14 double to 28 plus an additional 10. Elzin, you are healed by 38 hit points and you get back up. Notably, you lose your successes and you lose your failures if you had any, so reset I, back to I zero. had one. Oh, you don't keep failures anymore? Uh, as per my rules, you, us you usually would have, but I'm feeling nice today. Yay! Hi. Hooray! No, you know what, Chris, because you're being kind, I'll keep the failure. Oh, okay. it's, it's you Chris might regret nice that. He knows that Elzion is going to die might. again. <laughs> we will see what happens. You I'd might regret die. that because Chris has done some calculations and he's realised something that he's just done by accident. You know what? You know what? With that, that failure's suddenly gone again. <laughs> 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 that is fair. Okay. So. 
you otherwise place your hand on uh, on Elzian's chest as a pulse of necrotic energy shoots through him and jump and otherwise begins to knit his body back together with kind of weaving shadows that begin to slowly stitch and pull your body back together after the cold has taken frostbite over most of it. But you are now prone on the ground. Oh. But you're alive. I'm going to stay here. I can't do anything. It's not my turn. It's going to kill me ne his next turn anyway. Can Nelson play dead? No, uh, not that, that. That unfortunately is a spell slash action. So. No, I don't. I mean, <laughs> you, you've just I mean, been jump started. My... It's you don't entirely know your surroundings at this time as you get woken up. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> you just wake up and there's web bar right there. Yeah, well, Chris, Chris, I'll stop fishing for like any <laughs> chance to survive this fight. I've okay. accepted my fate. Um, you wake up with a web bar button in your face. I am capable oh, yeah. of attacking the crank. Okay, I'm capable it's of attacking so the crank. So I have to say, okay. but um, that would be a bad idea because I've seen. Oh, so the badonka donk is vast. Near to this guy. So, I don't really have a lot I can do as a bonus action, mm -hmm. except, except cast Hex, except I can't do Hex, I cast a spell already. Uh, so, uh, should have saved yourself. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I redact my spell, slap Elzian dead, takes the spell back. <laughs> take to, take a failed death save, but it's a crit on man who dies. back out of you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Simon, I had to. Uh... You really <laughs> didn't. <laughs> okay. I did. Um... I did, it was too easy. I mean, there's nowhere else I can go, really, so I guess... I mean, I have Felipe's turn still, but I guess I'll have to end my turn here. Keep in mind, as Elzian said, it is a... He has reach, so you can move him back five feet without taking an attack opportunity. Any further than that, and you technically are still... You leave his reach. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, you leave the reach of his yeah. neck, I believe. Uh, the reach of his claws. Because it's 10, 15, and 20. Yes, it's 15 for the reaches. neck, isn't it? Yeah. For, yeah. for his bite, okay. yes. I've moved back here. Having saved you, I'm now using you as a meat shield. This is fair. <laughs> I hate I mean, you're not much of a meat shield, you're lying on the floor. So. <laughs> you're still probably just as tall well, you're, as... You're a half leg, that's still like uh, half, half cover. cover. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're lucky if, Elson if, doesn't actually know what's going on right now. If we're both alive next turn, I can save both of us. But that's an if. Yeah, if I'm alive next turn, this th I can really get this thing to fight an illusory dragon, so it should be fine. Okay. And then Felipe... I'd love to have him attack, but like move in to attack and get this thing's attention, but he just can't. Okay. Because Were you crown of starsing from that distance, or? It'll still hit Elzium. I don't want to waste all my work. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No. Fair play. I just the, love the fact that you've remembered that means that, yeah, if Elzium was down and you hit him. It's auto damage to Elzion, so Elzion would have died in two hits from you oh, hitting yeah. Webval. <laughs> At this point, Elzion's got a buffer, but he still might go down in three hits after that. I'm aware, Chris. Hmm. Regardless, there's not a lot that Felipe can do except um, except cast Eldritch Plume. Okay. Uh, disadvantage, I believe, because of. Yep. Disadvantage, three attacks. So roll. Oh, wait, for... except, except for the precise reason I didn't want to use Crown of Stars. I don't know if you want to do that. Okay. So I'll say as a bonus so... action, you otherwise telepathically order Felipe not to engage, to purposefully stop until further engaged by you. <laughs> I'll say. Sure. Yeah. All right. Felipe, there's not a lot I can do, except there's no, there's no advantage to moving anywhere, I don't see. No, not so, particularly. Felipe, I guess, will wait where he is. 
Okay. Make his wisdom save. Yep. Wisdom save for Felipe, please, against the Frighten. Don't worry, Rook, only seven more turns. I'm not too worried. I'm actually managing to catch up with all my notes. Uh, <laughs> 14. Nice. I'm now doing cats. Oh. <laughs> 14? No, unfortunately not. As Felipe mm. remains there, still seeing something larger than Felipe and far more scary. Felipe, unlike you, does not have the resolve of the Raven Queen and for some reason cares about his own mortality. Oh, nice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> something Honestly, the most confusing right. thing about him. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I hadn't taken that into consideration. He gets his own <clears throat> initiative, technically, so yeah. Anyway. End of your turn, yeah, Sasha. It's about all I can do. Hello! Okay, so I've been told that I'm going to be flying shortly, right? That's what you've been told. Um, and I cleared out an area so it's a little bit easier for me to yeah. you see know around roughly where the you're going if place. you go straight up. Yeah. Okay. Um, good to know. Um, did I, I heard Infernal's voice, right? You heard Burn's voice, but yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Who here comes. <gasps> uh, final question. Uh, Jamie, what's your health looking like? Believe it or not... Yes, it took too much. I, I did. It. I took took 13, then 87, then I've healed up quite a bit with second wind and things like that. I am on 142 out of 199. That is cool, more that'll than do my it. maximum hit points. <laughs> okay, so I I'm going to it out. I, I I at one point at least knew roughly where Jamie was, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, can I, can you I, can I, I yeah, you'd be able to see roughly where he is from that distance. Right, I'm stumbling towards him like a like the drunken bastard I am. Okay, and I'm going to be casting Foe Slayer on him. Okay. So you place your hand. Uh, you you lightly kind of. Hold your hand against the edge of the axe, but not fully touching it. Um, or is it touch range? I forget. I it it, it touch. is touch range, but uh, I, I believe I can cast it on the person, yeah. not necessarily the... Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So as you kind of place your hand against Rook, you fill him with energy as Rook, you are otherwise affected by Foe Slayer. I'm assuming you're going to choose dragons. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I am choosing dragons. Okay. Uh, as a funny as it would be like, hey, have this, it's useful against undead, I feel like that would be somewhat... Okay, like, it's a joke, but it's a joke too far, you know? In this scenario, it might be. So, as Rook, you feel this energy kind of flow through you, which is divine energy curves across the edge of the axe as you hold it in presence. You're still scared, uh, though. <laughs> yeah, what what on earth does this do? Is it maybe what given the advantage? No, it doesn't have that You're part really part. good at Killing dragons now. Yeah. Whenever you oh. hit, whenever you hit Webval, he has to make a saving throw. If he fails the save, he takes eight d10 bonus damage. I believe it is. No, it, it, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not. A, it's not exactly a sure hit thing, but if you hit him and if yeah. he if he fails the save, it's a big chunk of damage. Yeah. If he succeeds, he then you can then force him to make it again with the next hit, but it can only ever do the damage once per turn. Right. Okay. And it carries on over each of my swings. Um, if between, he succeeds. Between, if yeah. he succeeds, it carries to each a successive swing. Yeah. Right, cool. And it doesn't benefit from grits, I don't think. Uh, I don't remember? know. I genuinely don't know. I can't remember what we discussed on that part. We'll see when we get there. Uh, oh, yes. This bonus damage cannot be doubled from a critical hit. Okay. Sure. Which is understandable, frankly. Yeah. It's big scary. So... You have that otherwise affected right. uh, on you? Yep. Uh, now, uh, pop, pop, a concert, pop a conk on me. Oh, yes, that is true. <laughs> and yep, <that's laughs> most importantly, thing. spiritual weapon, bump, 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 bump. Yeah. I'm coming for you, you dragony bit. I can't see him, can yeah. I? Okay, just going upwards. I, I'm going to say it's roughly over here. Yeah. Okay. Because we've heard him boring and drag. doing shit. Yeah, you've heard him. Yeah. <laughs> so, end of your turn, Sasha. He is going to mm -hmm. use one of his legendary actions to perform a tail attack versus Queglod. Nice. That is a 19 to hit. That does hit. 
Okay, damage of the tail is these dice. You take ooh, 25 points of bludgeoning damage as the tail whams into the side of you. Please go ahead and roll me a strength saving throw. This will be to okay, knock you this second. will be to knock you prone unless you're down. I'm not down. Okay, so go ahead and roll for me, please. Almost feels pointless, but No. That As the tail whams into you, you otherwise push to the ground and almost embedded in the snow. Uh as his otherwise large form looks over the two of you who are both in a difficult situation. Okay, burn. I uh, fall down to just below the... or just above the ground, because I can't fall all the way down. Okay, so five feet-ish. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and I touch both of them, and I cast... Fly at, I think it's fifth level to affect three people. Yep. Yep. So I disable mine and then I put fly on all three of us. Okay. So you reconcentrate on fly as you, uh, as everybody is affected by fly here. Uh, Rook, you otherwise have a held action, which at this point is because you didn't, you are feared. You move in the opposite direction to where he is. You know roughly he was in one of these two directions, so I will let you choose anywhere within a 90 degree angle of that. I'm gonna go probably... I don't know. What the hell is my movement with fly? 60 feet. 60. 60. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm probably gonna about here and above the yeah. clouds. Okay, so we'll say 10 or 15 feet. About above, so. I guess, I mean, depending on how deep it is, I probably only need to stand on. Yeah, it, it's 10 it's, foot block. It's 10 feet up, but we'll say 10 foot because you can move diagonally quite easily for that. And it will roughly line up. Uh, I was like 15 five, feet up. Five. That was 5 feet of oh, your own movement to do that. Okay, so. But the rest of my movement, I shall go above the fog again. Okay. So going above the fog, that will put you uh, on that bit. Okay, so that will be 10 feet up and you should be fine. Oh, yep. Yeah, sorry. That's fine. Sasha's where she was before, even though you picked her up. <coughs> okay. And I believe that is my turn because my bonus action... Yeah. And the rest of my metallurgies uh, recover. Uh, at the end sorry. of your turn, yes. So you have 12 yeah. available to you. So that's my turn. Yeah. Okay. So, end of your turn. Um... We die. Hmm. No, it's... not yet. He's going to wait. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Rook's. Uh, I can't hit him because he's going to end up killing, flipping Elsie with his stupid scale things. You also can't get closer. Well, no, I can't, but I can shoot my stars at him. True. Um... Also, <sighs> the reason I didn't attack. Yeah. I am... Don't worry, I'll step out next turn. Just... I'm gonna hold my actions to as soon as... It's safe to fire my stars, I'm gonna fire them. Um... That'll be my hold, and whether that means he moves or Elzion moves, either way, I'll be pelting him with stars. Um, and then I am just going to do nothing. Pretend I'm a seagull, maybe. Okay. Uh, end of your turn. He is going to tail attack Elzion this time. Which he has Why? advantage on, because you're prone. Come on, please just give me that. Elzion's just lying there flat on his back. Life. Sees the tail coming towards them. Oh. Yep. It's like that scene in Ants with the shoes coming down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a very this obscure reference. Uh, that was a 33 to hit. Uh, yeah. Doing 20. That doesn't hit. Doing 24 bludgeoning damage to you, and you're already prone, so no additional roll. <clears throat> 
as he swings the tail down, it smashes into Queglod before lifting it again as he turns and baps it into you, who's already on the ground as a unnecessary snow angel is created. Um... <laughs> In that moment, as the rest of you are looking over, you can see um, Elsie and Quiglot are both flat on the f- uh, flat in the snow, and the tail is otherwise pummeling into them. Quiglot, uh, did... Quiglot, oh. oh. do you ever feel we made some great mistakes in our lives? <laughs> it's fine. Just hang on. I'll get us out of here. Lair action. It's going dark. It's going dark, Miss Prill. You're right, it is going dark. Lair action. No! <sighs> oh, shit. No! As, the, <laughs> uh, as you watch as a misty bubble otherwise <sighs> flows over them. Actually, no, I'm going to move it a little bit just so he can fully obscure himself from your attacks. There we go. <sighs> Wonderful. Why is we have priority? What's going on here? Who knows? It's as, if, it's as if the others moved out of his range of attack, and suddenly there was an elf and a halfling in availability. I'm going to kill all of you in person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, guys. <God. laughs> okay, right. So, I, 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 I remember having this conversation when this started as, hey, do savings throw attacks on it because it will use all its legendary resistances. I remember mm-hmm. that. Has anyone yeah. actually used any yet? Malcolm I has. Did. And he's used up a legendary resistance. I, I don't have saving throw spells. Well, yeah, you're fine. Also, I'd like both of you to make me constitution saving throws, please. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I would like a turn. You might get a turn. Well, don't worry. Someday. Well, that's a success. Eleven. Eleven succeeds. Because it's the lair. It's yes! Stupidly low DC, so you mm. take five points of damage. Cold damage, specifically. So half to two for each of you. Mm. Because of your resistance. So each take two points of cold damage as you're otherwise within the misty fog. It otherwise encapsulates the area around you. Malcolm! Chris, please, when you get a chance, take a look at my character sheet. If you have Uh, one hit point. (laughs) Hold on. I've got 12. (laughs) Malcolm, I'll let you uh, go ahead and take your time while I'm looking for this. Uh, I'm going over to Rook. (laughs) (laughs) One hit. Hello, Rook. Hi. Um, I I have a question. Did you roll your wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn? No, we didn't. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, I got two. Oh, okay. Okay. I would like to provide the help action to help him get out of his fear. Okay. You do so as you otherwise move over. You kind of get a hold of Rook as he's floating in air. You can see kind of beads of sweat kind of freezing on the surface of his uh, of his fur as you kind of go over and you shake uh, you shake him telling him to get a grip come okay. on rook you have ad- that, t- that takes your action but you will have advantage on your next saving throw against frightening oh well fingers crossed uh and then thank you uh five er, no, that was uh five, five ten, ten. 15, 15 20, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Are you moving down or are you uh, no. remaining above the fog? Uh, I'm remaining above the fog. I'm heading in the direction to do things. Uh, that is correct. Yeah. Okay, so you're heading towards him as you're otherwise floating above the fog. You can see it otherwise encapsulating the other two. Hello, is there anybody down there? And on the end of your oh. and on the end of your turn, he is going to use that legendary action. Uh, okay, oh, good enough for me. He doesn't attack. He doesn't attack. You kind of hear a. He's detecting. Alternatively, so he's got some, some fucky legendary action that lets him recharge his breath. As he gets his yeah. ch- breath weapon back, not from the legendary action. That's not, yeah. That's that's it's his turn. turn. It's his turn. So it it's, his tu- yeah. it's his turn. So it recharged. Oh, no. He's not been added to the initiative for some reason. So yeah, he is. He's over here. He is. 
He's next really? to Suds because they take the same oh, turn. I just... the dragon form. Okay. Oh no 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 no! This is Webvile just no. because um, yeah. Suds right. has the same initiative, but he's got a higher deck, so he goes first. He's not red. So that threw me okay. off. Yeah. No, that's because I copied it from Suds' dragon tile. Well, fix it, Chris. Yeah. Whoa, come on. <laughs> There you go. You're going to have some production value. Oh, so he just goes at all times? He, go, he goes, oh. he no, goes no, around no. that time. There you go. It's fine. So you got Webfile, and then there's Simon, <laughs> then Harlan, then Infernal. Then oh. Webfile, and we oh. don't look good anymore. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't exist in this combat. Anymore, okay, so, so he is really. going to... Uh, given his detect was successful... He's going to go around here. Oh, great. Well, I'm dead. That's fine. I'm going to shoot my gun at him. Because I can see him, and I know that there's not a... Uh, mm. You no, can. Go foot. ahead. Yeah, I can. Cool. Uh, that's a saving throw, correct? On my part? Yeah, six of them. <laughs> oh, for <the> sake. <laughs> that works. That's fine. Uh, no. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, no, he, he's already fired it, Chris. No, I need to... So it will be that, but it will be one down. So yeah, that will catch all four of you. Good to know. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, go, so that's a dexterity saving throw. What do I have to worry about? Yep. It's uh, 16. DC 16, how many? Six of them. Six of them. Uh, that is a fail. That's a fail. He's going to take these. He's not using legendary resistance on this. Damn it. It's not high enough damage. Please uh, let that be what kills him. Success. 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 Fail. Okay, so three failures and three successes. Okay, so that's three dots of 2d6. So that's... Be prepared, Sasha. There you go. I 66 will fire damage. Oh wait, I'll be iced when I land next to you. Never mind, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so that is 22 points of fire damage. Good to know. Okay. As you fire these stars oh, across Lord, the arena, three of them impact across melting portions of the exterior of the ice, but otherwise just causing it to shatter and burst in outward directions. The other three veer off, hitting the ice wall behind, melting a portion of it before it freezes very swiftly afterwards. Um, he is going to... Breath weapon. I would like Malcolm, Burn, um, Sasha, and Rook to please make constitution saving throws, please. I failed. It's an actual one. Uh, yeah, that would be a fail. 24. I'm dead. Ah, oh, fuck. I, think I probably failed. Okay. I believe that turns me into ice. It doesn't state that it does. Although, oh. in its character... If it, if it in, doesn't state, then it, it doesn't. It doesn't cause... state that it does. I will say that it will make it... If you were on the ground, I'd say it would freeze you if you were incapacitated, if you tried to use it. But otherwise, you wouldn't. So, okay. let's see. Um, what did you get? Uh, Rook, you succeeded. What 24. did you get, man? 17. Nah, that's a fail. Okay. I failed as well. Right, Negative so. something. I still take half though, so that's fine. Yeah, you still take half for those Same of you who have a resistance Same potion, here. which I think is everyone but Malcolm in this scenario. Yep. Yeah. I gave up my immunity for helping. Oh my god. Uh, we will avenge you! I'm not dead yet! We will uh, avenge you! I actually have butterflies right now. I know. I just have anger. Yeah. I yeah. Do, I'm sick of this feared. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a am. being of pure rage. <laughs> I, I, Don't make me laugh while I'm doing this math. <laughs> In Diddy, you can't angrily cast spells. That's why barbarians don't know how to do magic. Because you can't you, angrily cast it. If you straight but up you die, want to. It's, it's when it doubles your current HP or your max. Maximum. Okay. Okay. So you're probably not gonna straight up die. I might if I hit the. Um, I mean, I probably might if I fall and hit the ground, which is gonna happen. That's so. ninety points of cold damage. Oh, yeah. The... So, and, hey, half and, to forty-five. And forty-five to those with resistance. So, Malcolm, that's it. You're down. Uh, yeah, I was on 32. Okay, so you fall and you hit the ground. At that point, you can't make the save, and Sasha, you can't see it coming because of the mist, so you take the full damage, which forces a failed death saving throw. Hey, Sasha! 
I'm blooded. She can't see you. Oh, you can see me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's unfortunately you're already um, bloodied. Um, qu qu question, question. W this breath weapon, would it not have pushed the mist away for at least a second? No, if anything, it would have frozen a lot of it, causing just like clumps of moisture and then to it kind of. Over the ground. I. Please. Please. In this scenario, no. As the ice otherwise encapsulates you in this space, you feel the freezing air kind of go past, and as you kind of endure holding your shield up and squinting your eyes, you hear a as you see the form of Malcolm hit the ice below as his head cracks against the table. You see a lot of How much damage spilling. was it exactly, by the way? 90. Halved if you have the resistance Ooh. up. Yeah. Uh, which means I would like concentration lucky. checks from you two, please. Fuck, what's the DC? Oh, uh, the way, it's 90 sorry. damage, half to 45, so the DC is 22. 22. Oh, I better roll a 12. I'm 10 foot above the floor, I'm okay. <laughs> I like to think. Oh! Okay, oh, you maintain. I, I saw that, that was a 7, Harlan. I know, I know. So, first layer fails. dead! Okay, as first layer ends, but the fly persists, you can still feel the essence of being able to hover and fly as Burn just about manages to hold on to his concentration. Um, he is then going to go... What is he going to do at this point? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He is then going to move up to Burn like a subtle. As he moves up close to your fa uh, up to your face, you can see a massive grin curling across his otherwise toothy, unblooded maw. He can't attack, right? No, he can't attack, but he can remain within range so that your so glass carapace goes off if you attack him. Fuck. Fuck! Speak, speaking of, it's so Elzian, it's your turn. Elzian got to go. Elgin gets I, to go! Okay, right. Okay, I didn't expect to get this far. First thing, health potion. Uh, bonus action, go for it. So, 2d4 or 4d4? Why is he so smart? 2d4. Why is he so what? Why is he so smart? What, to go after you? Yeah. Because you did a lot of damage, damage to him! <laughs> okay, that's uh, 8 hit. Damage! I'll take him. Do I sacrifice myself and send 14 attacks? Okay, now. <laughs> Here's the thing. We can't heal now, you. When we're so. outside of here, how far is our sight? Um, if you are... So, at the moment, because you arrived morning daytime and you're above the clouds, yeah. you're able Just to see another. perfectly fine. But the middle two air rings, you can't two, see down okay. into. The line of sight is just those middle two rings. Yes, so so long as you're on this third or fourth ring, you will not right. have to worry okay. about your line of sight being interrupted. Yeah. Also, okay. keep in mind you're prone for movement purposes. So half. And you're also within his bite range or opportunity attack. Yes, I, hoped, I would have hoped you didn't notice that. Me? Not notice this stuff? Yes. It happens. You can't just let it go. We'll see. Depends on what he wants to use it on. I have to go through Quick Lord. Um... <laughs> Who's also prone. <laughs> Quick, Quick Lord, now the meat shield. Okay, here's the thing I've just realized is that Luzu Dragon can also proc Frighten on something. This is true. Possibly immune? It's worth trying, though. It's worth a shot, right? And also, it's the great thing, but I need to be able to see a spot nearby me in order to cast it. Mm hmm. Your vision at the moment is five feet, so a spot nearby you could be adjacent to you, but then anything which would take up more than that space, it would become smaller, or it would push you back. But, it is a tangible thing, so I don't need the space. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try to leave in order to do this. Okay, um, half the movement to get up. So half my movement to get up, that leaves me with 15 feet, that, the only place I can go is that square there. Okay. Um... Go ahead and roll me a survival check with advantage because you have Quaglod as a compass. Quaglod as a compass, nice. Because you know in what direction she was, she and the dragon otherwise where it came from. Okay. That is. Yeah, you're fine. DC's ten. So. I'm fine. Good. That's fifteen. As Excellent. you as you step out of the fog, you can see Webvile there before you, otherwise mm. snarling and staring into burn. Five, six, seven. Okay. 
I would like to cast a Lucy Dragon here, please. What first. kind of dragon would you like to make? White Dragon. Okay. Where was it? Wait on? a minute. Right, I would like it to look. Sorry, I'd like it to look like a white dragon, but mm -hmm. can it have the fire damage? Because I get to pick damage type. Uh, I can. Give in mind. Keep in mind that will take away from the illusion, but it can still have it. That's fine. He still takes damage. He just gets advantage on the uh, save. Okay. So where are you putting it? Sorry. Oh, just, 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 just. just there. There. Okay. Right. Just that. I'll reset that. Mhm. Mm Okay, so as you otherwise bring your spells forward and begin to conjure the magic ahead of you, you all watch as a material dark shadow begins to pull upwards from the ground around as another draconic form arrives. This one very, uh, very much alive as its claws kind of dig into the surrounding stone and it otherwise stares straight at Webval. Those of you who can see this note the dragon's existence and you would know that it is one of Elzion's creation. I breathe I believe its breath weapon does have friendly fire if it does yes, use it. Yes it does. So that's But I can move it up mind. to sixty feet. Um will I be able to get it over here? Uh is this all on your turn it can do all of this when it's summoned? It's on a bonus action. It can move and when it and as part of its movement it can do its breath attack. Okay. So it will be able to fly over the top and land here. Yeah, oh, excellent. Is anybody there? No, it's just the spiritual weapon. No. Just spiritual weapon. So, and will I be able to be out its breath to be from that corner? In fact, it'll probably be from that corner there, which will still get it and won't get a burn. So what you're asking for is that. Yes. Either way, either way, it will avoid burn but hit it. Okay. Excellent. And it just okay. intelligent saving throw, please, against my DC. And what be your DC, good sir? 20. 20. Uh, back in a bit, guys. That is... <laughs> 9. Sorry, 18. I do... Wait, no, I get a plus 2 because of the... Because uh... of the uh, Ring believe. of mas Spell Mastery. Yeah. Ring of Spell Mastery, so yeah. That 20. is a 9. Am I going to use loads of resistance on this? Aye. Oh, yeah. 7d6 damage. He can take it. It's also a white dragon, so he wouldn't use it. Because yeah, he's... he would think that it would be Yeah, he, he wouldn't feasibly use it. Speaking of, this would be a good time for me to now mention something of relevance. You can roll your damage, it's fine. Um, something of relevance with Ancient Dragons. Their breath F20. weapon bypasses immunity and turns it into resistance. Does it? It, uh, it doesn't in the canon stuff, but in the DMG, there are certain damage types that can bypass immunity. Lava is one of them, along yes. with specific Ancient Dragons. Uh, okay. Red is the only one which is noted, however, I like it that all of them have access to this. So all Ancient Dragons bypass Aww. immunity and turn it into resistance, but they don't get rid of resistance. Aww. Noted. Unfortunately, that is only 20 fire damage. 20 fire damage, okay, that's still fire damage. It all adds up. I didn't think. I forgot that. Does that proc as... I'm just going to read it now. Maybe. Any damage dealt to him caught... Uh, deals this damage to all creatures within five feet of Webval. Yes, it does. He's on the ground and burns up above by ten feet. Uh, no, he was he's clinging to the wall, and I'm being thematic rather than putting him on a okay. pedestal. Go, cool. cool, got you. However, that's almost bad rolls. Second one's made almost up. Bad rolls, almost sensible. bad rolls. Almost bad rolls. That is eight points of piercing damage hmm. to you, Burn. And eight points of piercing damage to the white dragon as the um, shards stick into it and then dissipate as the shadow. And the dragon it. ignores it. Also, uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing it's immune to frighten. Actually, uh, yeah, dragons aren't immune to frighten, so he's in the frightful presence. Uh, Can you do no, that alongside the breath? Weapon? No. Okay, let me. Uh, that happens when it's if it's confusing. I wanted it was so desperate for it to be seen being spawned. Is because when, when uh, I cast the thing, then oh, it makes, uh, okay. when the illusion appears, any creature, oh sorry, any of your enemies that can see it must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become frightened okay. of it. For, uh, that well. is a twenty-three, so he does succeed on the. Yeah, he does succeed. Yeah, fair. I figured he would. Yeah, he's but, not immune, but he is. He does succeed. But he's got yeah. Uh, 
He's a dragon, so I've yeah. never got magic resistance anyway. So. Uh, and I've got to, I've got to, oh no, I can't pop into the, to the smoke. That's my turn. That's your turn. Okay. That's, you, that's all I can do. Because you didn't end your turn in there, you wouldn't have to make a saving throw. So, good choice either way. Mm. That's blindsight still a thing, so even if you were, he could still hit you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, end of your turn, he is going to use a legendary action to take a tail swipe at the white dragon. <laughs> he has advantage, that is a crit. No damage is dealt. Misses. As the tail swings through it. Actually, it is tangible. It just automatically misses, apparently. So in which case, as it hits, because of the interaction with an illusion, he now knows its existence is yeah. magical. So at this point, he looks at it, and you hear a snarl. <sighs> Trixie wizard. As you see an eye peer back at you. Uh, the the uh, Elgin has a little bit of poo coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that known. So, um, Craig Lord. Yeah. Okay, so I literally just need to get out of this fog. <laughs> yes, and um, out of. I, I, I watched Elzion move. Yes. Can I get out? Yeah. I just move so half, half half movement. Half movement to get up. Half movement to get up. Is it? Yeah. How does rounding work there? Because it's thirty-five. Down. Isn't it? Always down. So if you have Always thirty-five, down, you use awesome. fifteen. Okay. So you have 20 left. 10. Ooh. 15. Action. I cast Arcane Gate. Oh, you beautiful Okay, man. where are you sending it now to? Now I can finally fucking see. <laughs> I want it uh, 500 foot range, if I recall. Mm -hmm. um, I just have to be able to see the point, so over like here. Um... Feasibly, seeing through web file, I'd say anywhere from this line to the right. So I'd say like this. So here would work quite nicely. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, it's also a higher elevation, so does it matter for the flat surface? Would it make more sense to be one of the walls around here? Because it's, uh, it's a higher elevation. It's 20 feet higher than where you currently are. Is that a problem? Uh, for, as long as I can... For being able to see... see the... Because obviously it's a higher elevation, so further yeah, away you wouldn't be able to see point. the top of it. Either way, I'm going to put this here. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to get as far as possible, but no, no, somewhere down here, I guess, would be fine. There? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, creating a portal, um, you place your hand against the wall behind you as a arcane gate forms. Did you want to move it slightly? Uh, no, that's fine. Just for reference, this side is the active side of this portal, and this side is the active side of this one. Okay. Because that matters. You've got five feet of movement left. Five feet of movement left, and I'm stepping through the portal. You step through the portal, and out you come onto this side, either one of these three squares, so I'll let you put yourself down. Um, as you step out onto the other side, you see the form of Webvile otherwise look and see before he begins to kind of scout the surroundings. He, You watch as his head kind of slowly turns and sees you over this way as he's taking his surroundings. There's a snarl, but he seems to have now disregarded you somewhat. Shit. This, this is what I was going for. I have one hit point. Oh, Just a question. I'm not fighting for a bit. Just a question. Yes, Can I go through that portal? Through that? You can go through the portal, yeah. yeah. But you have to use your movement to do so, which you may or may not get. We'll I, know. I know. This is I... this is the, the real problem of me being after you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I couldn't use that to. That is but... the pro th that is the entire problem with this combat right now. The entire problem with this combat is we all got shit initiative rolls. Yeah, and that we're, that's we're... just trickled down to the entire thing. I don't uh, know. Uh, what, what, mm. uh, what was that, bud? <sighs> I said, just as an old burn does not look good. Did you roll your your concentration check for your fly, by the way, after you took the... Um, oh, I did bad. not roll for the damage. The, no. uh, ten, what was it? No, not ten. Eight points of damage. Yeah. You're fine, fine. Yeah, you need an actual one to fail, don't you? 
Yeah. Okay. So right. is that the end of your turn, Quaglord? Or... I believe I have a potion of some kind. Okay. It's... It might matter. If it's a healing potion, then it will matter. I believe you. Everybody has some because they were dished out. So you should. That is that is an excellent point, actually, because any amount of healing is going to be pretty useful here. It's better than one. Yeah. Yeah, because of his. Everyone takes damage thing. His uh, yes, I do have a yeah. standard potion of healing. Oh, you so might you might be referring to the lair action. Yes, that you can yes. use. Which you can use. Wishes. Yes, because you can't use the mist now. Okay. Mm -hmm. At so the end of your turn, Quaglod doing uh, stuff. As a bonus Not Quaglod, Felipe, sorry. Uh, Felipe. There's not a lot he can do. Let me roll my d4s quickly. 2d4 plus 2 for a standard one. So sorry about that. Uh, are you guys still there? Yeah. 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 Standard healing potion. Okay. 2D4 plus yeah. Two d four plus two. Yeah. Okay. Whose turn is it? What's going on? It's currently Quaglods. She has just teleported out using Arcane Gate. Um, I have a legendary action after this turn. Uh, so we'll get to that in a moment. I love you again, there. Yet again, I'm going to die. Hmm? Just the story of failure. I think I'm the one that's gonna die. Is it uh, concentration, by the way, Elsie? Yes. Okay. Just because I didn't give you an emblem. Yes. Is Arcane Gate concentration? Uh, I will double check that. So I believe it. Possibly. All right, no, because it's not concentration, it's there forever now, so it's fine. Okay, good, good. Um, oh, and look at that, he recharges his breath weapon. It's going only at you. Oh, <laughs> <hell>. <laughs> Interesting. I think well, it is. Because it's something in front of my character sheet, it says cold immunity, and yes, it has a little thing that, that, that says that even, even that doesn't, doesn't affect ancient it. Ancient dragons. <laughs> God's I've got to protect from everything shield, so yeah. Oh, that's a nice little spell. <laughs> Oh, okay. It literally is. Uh, it's called vulnerability. Uh, oh, yeah, Arcane it is. Gate. Okay, <laughs> Arcane Gate is concentration. However, Crown of Stars I literally is. cannot fail a... Crown of Stars is not. I literally cannot fail a DC 10 concept. This is fair. So and any any damage sufficient to raise it above that will just knock me down. So, <laughs> so yes, so... I am concentrating, but functionally it does not matter. But it'll exist or it won't. One of the two. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, and if Elzin wants to use this to run, he can do so, but that puts us close together, and I'm not a fan of this. Okay. Now the is... question is, do I want Felipe to that. Do I'm running away from you. Is Felipe attacking? This is a big portion to this. Yes. How how is Burn looking? Looking from this distance, he is looking. Yes, but... Would nasty be a correct word, or do you want me to say desolate in terms of hit points? Uh, probably the worst you've seen him in a while. Oh yes, you see blood and Vira leaking out of him. <laughs> Who oh, don't want to leave because they hate the cold. Yep. Oh, in a hot tub. <laughs> but it's like cold outside. The yeah. hot tub's too hot. So yeah, they're sort of halfway in between. Yeah, they don't, says it's they my don't turn in the one broken half of burn. <laughs> God. Just like a, a thief right. of Lion King where they're just clinging on for also, dear life. Also, this is a general note. Um, after Burn loses those hit points, he can't get them back because of the braces and the fact that he's undead. He can only be stabilized and then saved. Well, that was his decision to <laughs> die to and, on... as behold with the braces and then decide to put them on his next one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emperor. <laughs> <I cannot. laughs> when when Quaglod metagames, but it makes sense. <laughs> I accept it. I accept this uh, criticism. Yes. I, uh, you know, we said those <laughs> braces were cursed. No, they're really cursed. Okay. Philippe is going to do the one thing he can do that will not immediately kill Burn, which is to cast Mirror Image on himself. Nice. I should have done that earlier. It doesn't matter now. He has an attack for Philippe. I know I will go up with no, the this is <laughs> And then if, mercifully, he actually makes his wisdom save, he can go into melee and do some things. Go for it. Oh, Jesus. You can do this, don't worry. We've only got, like, five got turns one, left. So. Nope. For God's sake. Felipe is... <sighs> Hold on a moment. Okay. 
Chris is going to double check that in the player's handbook it doesn't say anything about Fine Familiar having immunity to Frightening or Charm. I'm going to double check this because in this event it does actually matter and I kind of feel bad for Felipe being trash when it comes to Frightened. It's... <laughs> I will say partly it's, it's me over-relying on Nightmaker. There probably are things I can do on my own to make Felipe better at things. Uh, and I will be investing in that if we somehow make it out of here. I'm gonna right. find an immunity. Elshin's gonna learn how. To, Elshin's gonna learn how to use heavy armor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Jamie, why do you think I looked for that on the whole? No, but I will say one thing that Felipe oh. can do. Uh, as a bonus action, you can summon Felipe to your current space, so long as he's within a hundred feet of you. So if you wanted to, you could you could snap your fingers and Felipe is next to you, so you can pull him into melee involuntarily. You just no. have to be in melee yourself. Just for future reference. I think someone should do that with me. Can I be huh. a familiar? 15 levels. You can man. be mine. I don't remember that being I've a got show. a familiar. It's part of the fine familiar specifically. It's not part yeah. of the thing. But because of the way we basically just hodgepodged it and went just follow fine familiar for the rule set, just makes it easier. Okay. So what you're saying is that Craig Lord can literally do that runs off of a cliff, clicks fingers, and starts flying on, on Felipe. Yeah, true, but she has her own fly speed now, so. So if she falls and yeah. goes unconscious, then Felipe can teleport to you. Provided he knows you're falling. Anyway. Huh. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. So end of your turn? Felipe has mirror image up. <clears throat> yep. I don't believe that's concentration. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. All right, Elzian. <laughs> tail attack coming at you. No, it's not. I don't know what you're For about. summoning an illusory dragon. That is a 30 to hit. I believe it hits. What is the tail damage hey. die? It's those two. Are you a hundred percent sure that that he knows it was Sam? <laughs> maybe, maybe it was the uh, rock five years away. Out, it's an illusion. He did. He attacked it. No, no. He's supposed to actually take the action to. He's supposed to take the action to learn it's an illusion. To investigate, yeah. it, yes. Right. Does it say anything about blind sight or nope. anything like that? Uh, uh, the illusion is tangible because of the shadow stuff used to create it. Uh, but the attack misses it, but attacks and miss it automatically. It succeeds all deaths. Oh, sorry. It succeeds all saving throws, and it is immune to all damage and conditions. A creature that uses an action to examine the dragon can determine that it is an illusion by succeeding an intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC. Okay. In which case, I will redact that, nope. and I will instead have it use its legendary action to perform detect, which you yeah to perform this investigation check. Yeah. Does it have a DC or does it just? If it's, it's, it's against my DC, my spell save DC, so 18. Uh, he doesn't so, have he yeah. doesn't have proficiency. Your DC is 20 actually because of the ring. 20, yes. So that is a fail. So he believes it to be a natural dragon. So he didn't say tricksy wizard. Um, That's fine. Uh, Elshin's still shitting himself a bit. Yeah. <laughs> that is I fair. think we all are. Either way, honestly. he'll be attacking either you or Burn with his tail at the end of this because he's only got one legendary action left. So. Good attack, dragon. Hmm? I, 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 he's going for weaker <laughs> characters. I'm, I'm, I'm chancing my arm it's to ignore me. It's fine. He'll breath weapon the dragon if he gets a chance, maybe. Alright, uh, Sasha. <laughs> Everyone just moves slightly. Oh, it's my <laughs> turn. Okay, and I've still got a fly speed, don't I? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yes, you do. Right, first things first. Oh, it takes an action to feed someone else a potion, doesn't it? It does indeed. Yep. Malka, how close are you to death? What? One failed death. He's, he's, got, he's got one me. failed death saving throw. If he was a natural one, he's dead outright. All uh, right, fine. I. Why are you so reluctant right. to heal the dying people, Harlan? Because <laughs> I, I want to explode this fucker. Oh no, that's probably kill burn. You know what? Fine. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna slap. Malcolm, because that genuinely could kill him. I'm going to gently place my hand on him and cast heal. 70 hit points. Mm. Up you get, Malcolm. You are prone, but you are otherwise... <laughs> I'm no longer trying to myself. What is this? As a heal is oh, yeah. cast, <laughs> you place your hand across Malcolm as the heat re-enters his body. The frostbite exits it, and he you hear a click as his skull is no longer cracked open. Oh, get up, you, you wee baby. 
Um, and I'd like to move my... Being told that the person has already taken over 300 points of damage. One, two, three... <laughs> can I, can I so, so just a, a bit cheekily move my spiritual weapon there? Uh, unfortunately, it would only be able to go there. But and that was that still see. within range. Yeah, that um, Yeah. Please, if I spank, no. if I spank this dragon with a spiritual weapon, will burn take damage. Yeah. Uh, you it can't see. Any damage. You can't see because you are currently still blinded, being down here, unless you're moving first. Uh, I will move uh, upwards. Um, I'm gonna say away from the the dragon. Okay. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent convinced that I don't think that's a that's a real one. Uh, like I think it's on our side because it's it's facing it's up against Web Yeah. But I, d I don't necessarily think that it, it's we're that we're in control of it. Okay. okay so uh, there then, could I get my spiritual weapon there? Yes, that'll be fine. Okay, and it'll and just sort of be. Uh, are, um, are you above the mist? Yes, above the myth, so that I can actually see what the fuck's going on, basically. Still there. 30 feet up, unless you wish to go higher. No, uh, I'm good I'm good with the th 30, th 30 feet. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just sort of, like, keeping an eye on this. Um, I, I'm, I'm having my spiritual weapon here, just so I can u potentially use it next turn. Burn! Escape if you can. Speaking of burn... I, I, Legendary action, he's going to tail attack, seeing the readied laws have recovered. That is a natural one on his attack roll. He misses. As he swings his tail, you watch as it otherwise arcs down and, to uh, down and towards you. As you quickly and deftly dodge out of the way, the wings now at full speed as you otherwise twist around, avoiding the tail as it crashes into the ice below him as he turns and stares at you with a snarl. I've never been more excited about the one. Oh, I'm actually going to cry. Oh, no. you guys can me, right? It's your turn. I, well, Sasha will I can. vomit. <laughs> hey, I'm only 30 feet up. That's enough. That's, mm. I should probably heal myself, frankly, because otherwise there's a good chance that everyone dies. Okay. Bird, it's your turn. What are you doing? It's my... Right, Chris. Can I... Because the damages are in these instances, I don't actually, like, or does it count the thing for overkilling myself? What do you mean? Oh, because there's... So if it exceeds double my hit points. If the damage exceeds double your hit points, you'd be killed outright. But because each of these is a separate attack, they're yeah, separate rolls. Cool. They're so if you, say, have one hit point and you do four attacks, you die instantly. Because oh, the three right. will each each of them will count as a kill when you're unconscious. See, yeah. So good. you will be so, oh, if you if you take I your damage and then three attacker. more hits, you die instantly. Yeah. Okay. Ah. It's not good. Not good at all. Shit. 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 Uh, Ooh, wait, 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 I just need to read a spell, just so I can check if it does that. Um... Hmm? Guys, you still there? Yeah, yeah. still here. Burns just a second. Oh, there. Yeah. I will quicken spell slow. Okay. What saving throw is that? Oh, that's wisdom saving throw. Keep in mind you won't be able to form a regular spell as an action, but I think I know what you're, yeah, I know. you're trying to do. That is a 18. They fail. I am going to use legendary resistance to succeed. I knew you would do that. Yes. Right, fuck. It's slow. I'm not having him not have his all of his. Yeah, attacks. I know. I knew. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> all right, disengage. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, use your action to disengage. I do not want to die now. And what direction are you headed? I'm getting down. Okay, so you're going down into the mist. Yeah, Got into it. the mist, yeah. Okay, you go down into the mist. Just hide. Okay. 
You disengage using your action. You fly away with a in a very difficult situation. Rook. Oh, right. Did Rook succeed? No. Uh, I, no, well, no. I've, I've got to do it at the end of my turn, so I can't even... He has advantage yeah, he on it because of Malcolm. It. However, he has seen Malcolm disappear into the mist. It will still count, but if he fails, that's my canonical reasoning. Fair. Um, <laughs> I mean, if he succeeds, that's my canonical. Come on, Rook. I'm going to hold my movement. Uh, actually, you know what? Who can I see and who's looking really rough? Uh, uh, really rough? You can see, you just saw Burn disappear into the mist below and he's badly injured, but otherwise you can't see it. Um, Sasha is floating and she looks fairly badly injured. Other than that, you can see Quaglod down below you who's just appeared out of an arcane gate and is otherwise very badly injured. Hello, six hit points. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to send because it's a bonus action to send the potion holder whizzy thingy, isn't it? Yep. Which has what kind of potion in it? A greater. Okay. So four d four plus four. Okay. So my bonus action I'm sending that to Quiglod. So Quiglod, you're holding by four d four plus four. So if you want to go ahead and roll that. Thank you. And you're holding Sorry. your bonus action for or your action? Oh, no, oh, not I holding to... my movement. Holding your movement. Okay. To go to him if I succeed. If I don't, then I'm just gonna. Scratch my ass. So is that okay? Holding your action as well for it. Uh, you can't he... hold both, can you? Uh, uh, no, can he can't you? hold. He can only hold oh. one type of action: no. movement, bonus, or regular. Because uh, okay. it, it's technically uh, the ready action he's taken, and you're yes. ready to do something. Yeah, he's ready to do this. So go ahead and roll me oh. a, a, a wisdom I'm saving throw God. with advantage against this the frightened presence. Worker, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Finally. Total. Fuck. Twenty. That succeeds. You are no longer frightened. <gasps> I got you. I got you, Jamie. <laughs> Christ! A single tear rolls down Rook's cheeks. Like, oh finally. my word! I've just realised something interesting. I'm gonna do that next. What? That oh, I can do it again? Man. Cool. No. I don't like. Elzian hasn't been affected by frightful presence yet, because he's been yeah. unconscious oh, this entire yeah, time. Yeah, Chris. Hey, Chris. That's another thing. I've been sat here going. Please don't notice. I've just noticed. <laughs> I went to put an asterisk on Rook, and then I was like, wait, he's already got one. Oh, I must have added that when he, uh, to see who'd actually been pre-affected by it, and it's just a pre-existing condition. I was like, Elzir oh, hasn't got one. Nor has the lair, but that's fair. So. <laughs> All right. Actually, actually, can I use a, a action? I haven't actually ended yet, or have I ended? That you ended to make the save. I ended. All right, yeah, cool. Yep, yeah. No, that's cool. So at this instance, you use your, danger. you can't move there because there's a spiritual weapon in the way. So okay, we've established many a times that spiritual weapon is a, it's very easy to move it, around. Yes, but it takes a space, so he can move through it, but he out, can't end. Also, out, out he's in, the, he's flying. So is this? Does the white dragon give a uh, Elsian's dragon give me advantage? Technically, yes, because he believes it to be a real creature. Okay, so I have sixty feet of movement. Five, ten, 10 15, 15, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 50, 60. You get to there. And get to here. Okay. Do you want cool. to be flying still, like 10 feet off the ground? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be at the same height. Okay. I uh, was. Oh, for God's Ooh. sake. What have you done? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Just a surprise. As Rook, shoot, as Rook shoots over, no longer afraid, wielding and brandishing the axe in place very angry. I'm the only one that could be scared again. Okay. Lair action. Can it not? I don't like you. I would like everyone to make a constitution saving throw, please. The mist. Yay. Yeah. As you all oh, begin to feel 19. chilly. 20. Nice. Okay, I've got a 19. Oh. I'm happy. Probably no. 14. Okay, does anybody get below a 10? Nope. Okay, no. so you all succeed, so you all take four points of cold damage before resistances are applied. <laughs> okay. So That's a lot of damage right now. So you would take two. Uh, I would like Elzion, uh, Burn, and Queglod to each make constitution saving throws for your concentration checks. Oh. Oh yeah, I don't have any concentration things going anymore. <laughs> nope. No. No. You're fine, Burn. <laughs> I need to increase my. This is DC mod. ten. This is DC ten, yeah. So you physically can't fail, so don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. 
Um, and there's your new fight. Oh, there we go. I okay. panicked when I saw almost going for the one. I need that yeah. dragon up. Yep, you hold your concentration. End uh, of your turn. Malcolm, you are currently on the ground. You're prone because you've just you've hit the deck and it is very cold down here. Well, I'm getting out of here. Okay. Um, She's yeah. half moving to get up. What? Can't, he can't see oh. you. Oh, oh yeah, he can see me. What is this thing? Really? It's a table. It's a table. Oh, it's a thing. I'm hiding behind the table. It's technically cracked because of your previous shenanigans with it, but I there is no yeah, tech. I'm using it as a shield, sure. <laughs> okay. Half cover within this place. Sure, that will matter. Mm. <laughs> no deck saves. Uh, so. I'm going up. Up. I'm getting uh, out of the park. The myth, please. Hmm? Oh, yes. Yeah, Thank that you. goes away. Thank you. No worries. Okay, so you move 30 feet up, and that is your movement. Yep. Because you spent half of it getting up. Actually, what is your fly speed? Actually, I have I have ten feet. So you have ten feet. So I... you can only go up ten feet. No, I have ten feet more after that. What's your move speed? I have fo my. Oh wait, no. Hold on. What's my move? Your fly uh, speed is forty. 50. Uh, my fly speed is forty plus the. Uh, oh wait, no, that's with the plus. The, so yes. So forty. You spent half 20. of it getting up, which is twenty. And then you spend another, so you can go 20 feet up, which puts you just below the uh, top of the mist. You can't see anything currently. All right, then I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay. I, I mean, I guess I could use my action to go out, but fine. Yeah. Okay. I'll go use my it. action to fly out. To, to dash. Dash and go out, I guess. Okay. Just the extra 10 feet or where else are you going? Uh, I'm probably, since I can't do anything else, I'm probably going to move. That would be 5, 10, 10 15, 20, 25, 30. So you'd be able to get to, oh, there -ish. This one? Yeah. Just going to knock yeah. you down 10 because that will put you, are, yeah. you, are you skimming the surface or are you going up higher? Uh, just a tiny bit higher. Uh, I, okay. I don't want to go up too high and crash into the ground. Very okay. roughly like the last one. Webvald's turn. On its turn, it sees the dragon, but it also sees Rook. It sees Elzian, and it sees the portal. Also sees a no, Sasha. No. Most importantly, sees the dragon. Mm. Okay, to be fair, Sa Sasha hasn't done anything yet. Frankly. <laughs> He's got a furious Minotaur next to him. Yeah, well. Furious. He's going to move there. Why? Another way, oh just... as you go to move through the portal, he places his claw in front of it and snarls down at you. Oh. Rook, you get an opportunity attack. I was going to say, did he just, well, hang on a sec. I might yeah, to let's see it. if you grab his tail and stop Rook. it. One attack oh, roll. Right. It'll be up to someone from getting that. Okay. If the sentinel hits. Uh, nope. Three plus eleven. Nope. As, he, as you otherwise go to grab his tail and stop him, he otherwise slides out of your grasp as your hands feel cold as you attempt to do so, and he steps in front of you, Elzian. He's going to take a bite attack. Bye, Elzid. 21 to hit. Hits. <laughs> uh, how many hit points do you have? 18. Okay, so you could technically survive this if I roll all ones. Which I did. <laughs> so Elzion goes down. All <laughs> ones. Fuck me. I'm not even going to bother telling you the damage because either way it's higher than 18. And, and the dragon goes away. And the dragon goes away. As you fall prone, he looks back at where the dragon was. He is confused about where it has suddenly gone and is a little bit more paranoid. But as he kind of bites into you, Elzian, he lifts you up with his mouth and turns to Rook at this point. And he is going to throw you at Rook. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. I know you're dying, but that's hilarious. Okay. As he swings around, he otherwise takes Elzian and flings him at you, Rook. Rook, you have two choices. You can either have disadvantage on all your attacks next turn, because you would be forced to catch Elzian, and doing so, you would not. De Elzian will take no damage. Or you can attempt to maintain your regular rolls for next turn against the dragon. However, Elzian will take one point of damage, failing a saving throw. Well, that's just a no-brainer, isn't it? I'm catching Elzian. Let me fail the, let me fail the throw. Kill him. Rook doesn't know this. He's catching Elgin. Kill him. Okay. No, just kill him. Rook doesn't know. He cares too much about the people. He will okay. catch Elgin. 
as you as you reach out, you grab Elzian, um, taking no damage, but using up one of his attacks as he is going to move in and otherwise take a. Actually, no, he's moved out of your range. He can go. Out, he can go anywhere. Um, yeah. For some reason, people keep getting back up. Hey, Sasha. I need. I need. Hey, uh, hey. For he has no reason. idea I've been involved in that. No, but they keep getting back up, and he's seen everybody's ability except for Rook. So he is going to go. Uh, yeah, he's gonna fly around here. Thing is, guys, um, I genuinely don't have a hit points right now. I've been spending my healing on other people. So he is oh, gonna. He's gonna stop there. You're on... technically within. Uh, you're technically within five feet of him because you're thirty feet up. This is twenty foot up, and he's ten foot up above that. So. You're on the same level as him, as is Rook. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, notably, while you're carrying Elzian, Elzian is immune to the glass carapace because it does not affect objects you are carrying or wearing. Oh, there you go. So Yay! El so Elzian's Elz an object! So Elzian will not... Elz well, this is something me and Quigglot discussed. Um, when, a cre uh, when a creature is unconscious and is involuntarily having actions applied, it is an object. So, by all means, Ooh. you can carry Elzian. You find him and carry him and he doesn't get hit. The exceptions apply for if another creature's carrying you. So if he was carrying you, for example. Anyway. Yeah. And he is going to... Yeah. He's going to perform his other claw attack against you, Sasha. Okay. That is a 21 to hit. Nope. Nope. As he goes and he takes a swing in, the claw bearing down towards you, you lift your shield and it pangs against the outside of it as it glances against uh, back into this as okay. he hovers there his wings beating you watch as the mist below him gets pushed away and you can see the floor under him as as he hits my shield i'm just gonna say you hurt my elysium you're going to die okay speaking of which elysium it is your turn death saving so please sam I'm going to take a second taking a break, so I will leave it at that for now. Quigglord. Oh, you want to kill this thing, right? Oh, with everything in me. Look, <sighs> okay. I, look, I, if I go down, I'm sure someone can bring me back up with a fucking health potion. If you can kill this fucker, you kill this fucker, okay? All right, I'll do what I can then. We gotta, we gotta t start taking some risks. Uh, Likewise, I've still got action surge. I've got a lot of damage next to it. Um, I've got 30 hit I points left, I can take a hit or two. As long as it's not him actually, like, uh, proper going uh, at me, I can take a hit. Hmm? Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, can he use this fortress thing on his carapace? <laughs> fortress thing? No. And I was asking Sasha if she can survive 14 instances of carapace damage. Oh. Oh, sorry, no. I thought you were talking about your Fortress Probably Buster not. thing. No. Oh. Minimum, da no. minimum no. damage is above her current hit points. She would be outright dead at that point. Wait, how much HP does Sasha have? 30. 30. Oh, shit, okay. I did not realize you were that low. Yeah, I've, I've been taking fucking... Um... She took two Frost Breaths. Oh, yeah. The fact rest, I'm yeah. still standing is incredible. Thank you very much. I'm back. Uh, you need to make a death saving throw, but it's no rush because you can't die from it. Okay. Um, right. And if you didn't, uh, in case you didn't hear, Sam, you, in case you didn't hear, you are currently immune while in Rook's arms from the glass carapace. Wonderful. Because you are a because okay. you are considered an object in this instance. I got you. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. I don't want to use Eldritch Blast because I want to minimize the um. Caravis, and I want to get as much damage. So, I use my action to cast Conjure Unkindness. Oh, you're using what the hell it. is that? Okay, uh, what save is it on my part? It is a dexterity saving throw. Actually, logistically, how's that going to work? With... I assume it's just going to be copies of, of the regular version. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, that is a 21 on his part for the dexterity saving throw. Unfortunately, that does pass. So, he'll take half damage. Um, he'll take half damage. Go ahead and roll that. You all watch as... Well, some of you watch as Quaglod otherwise puts Nightmaker out, and you watch as feathers begin to slowly fall from Nightmaker. As you watch as a small dark portal 
appears above Webval as hundreds of Felipe's shoot out of it and begin spearing into um, Webval, suicide bombing him. Slowly but surely doing. I should have been rolling that while you were saying. <laughs> watching the cinematic. The My thematic! Flight, My immersion. Uh, 26, half to 13. 13, okay. Good, good. He's taken a fair amount of damage. Okay. Wait, no, shit. I'm an idiot. I wrote it in wrong. Because it's I supposed only to wrote upscale. In the... Yeah. So, so you roll two more d6. Six, which will be halved. Which will be halved. So additional three points. Yeah, Darn it! I was on a perfectly round number. This is payback for my one point of damage earlier. That's fair. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Might matter. We'll find out. I love how that one point of damage. Look, if I can get to my turn and survive, I can fuck him up. Okay. Um, speaking of Sasha, as a result of this, you take minimum damage. Nine, Thanks, Chris. Nine points of piercing damage. And Rook, you It'll... also take nine points of piercing damage. Yep. Yep. I'm bloodied. That's uh, fine. I'll take that. Rook I've, is bloodied. You can if you can see him. <laughs> it finally happened. I finally got oh. bloodied. Okay. Do do I heal us or do I hurt him? No, I'm I'm healing. I need to bring Elzian back to life. Yeah. yeah. I, I will yeah. dictate until Elzian's turn. You will. He will still be immune because he's in Rook's arms at the moment. Basically, Rook, okay, you're holding him and using your mass form to basically surround him and stop him from taking damage. Fair. Okay, we're Infernal doing this do your at work. fifth There's level because that. we're doing this at fifth <laughs> level, even though it's probably not worth it. It's still, you know, every every little helps. Okay. Uh, altogether, that is, uh, I believe, that was uh, sixty-eight. 68, 68, Yes. Um. There you go. Yes, I'd like to heal him for sixty-eight damage. No. Uh, <laughs> 68. Uh, so 68, yep, of worth of healing, which will be spread between the people within range, which is basically uh, me, Elzian, and, and Rook. Ugh, 20. 20? Eh, could be worse. You add your wisdom modifier as well, I believe, so that's Oh, 20, that is true. 25. 25, okay. How do you wish um, to split it? So, uh, Don't worry about mine, give it to Elzian. Okay, so 10 points to Elzian, 10 points to me, uh, 5 points to Jamie. Um, my, my thought here is I can take, uh, it, that's another hit on, on his, um, his carapace for me. That's a hit on his carapace for Sam and you're, you're just getting a bit of a buffer. Is yeah, that fair? fair? Yeah, okay. no, that's definitely cool yeah. with that. So, so Elzin, you if have anyone 10 hit happens points. to be suffering from like uh, any well, so just strange that. diseases. Also, intentional. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm above bloodied. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> No, just, just oh, 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 that you are. Yeah. You are conscious. You're not prone. You're just in Rook's arms. I'm sad. My dragon's dead. He's still being carried, right? He's still being carried, yes. so he won't take any further damage this turn until Rook puts him down. Yeah. But you'll have to move have to Rook. put him down, or you can drop him. Rook does a good job of protecting me, Sasha. Yikes! Sasha comes it's over it's herself it's and it. slaps him. <laughs> as you might understand, as you might understand, I'm a bit salty right now. Okay. Quake Lord, you had the rest of your turn? Uh, yeah. Uh, bonus action on Crown of Stars. Sorry for the damage, yep. guys. But we Crown of Stars, is down. this an attack roll? This is an attack roll. Go ahead. <sighs> that feels like a whiff, I'm afraid. That probably is a whiff. Whilst the, the attack, plus. My... Ask the guy that actually knows it the answer. Is last ten is sixteen. Yeah, unfortunately, that's, that's a miss. Yeah. As you fire for, as you kind of hold one of the stars in your hand, as you throw it forward, it spins. As you watch, as he uh, kind of uh, lifts his or kind of pushes his wings down, he gets a small amount of elevation as it curves under him, whiffing past Rook and otherwise striking into the ice next to him as shards of it begin to scatter across the floor. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna move here just okay. so that i am behind the portal nothing that can like come through and hit me okay because it i'm out in that direction felipe doing anything <sighs> like i said you can take the hit if you can you can you can hit him out i mean pr try and minimize it to like one attack so it's not like multiple 
situations, but the, the if you, can, if you feel like you... The is Eldritch Plume. I can't get close to him to do melee attacks. Yeah, that's Still. fair. Just... Hmm, that's fair. <sighs> I look, I've got, I've got a power shot after this. I know he's got a legendary action that he can use. He might be able to take me out before I do anything, but he doesn't know I've got something planned, and... Okay, no. Felipe is going to hold his action, then, to cast um, Eldritch Plume. Fair. Okay. If, uh, if 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 what? the situation looks safer, like Rook's still looking okay, right? Yeah, I'm just above bloodied again. Okay. If if <laughs> if Sasha gets far enough away that she's not going to be hit by the thing, then Felipe's okay. going to plan. Okay. That's It'll the have... condition. Roll a wisdom saving throw for Felipe, please, for his frighten. I am going I don't to roll. How many people have disadvantage on his attack? <clears throat> Nope, afraid oh. not. Okay. Uh, he is going to otherwise swing his tail at you, Rook, as he begins to spin in the air and swing his tail. That is a 19 to hit. I believe that misses. Yep, that misses. Yep, that just misses. As the tail whoosh, swings past, you kind of, using your body as a shield, it glances off of the back of your armor in your enlarged form. You feel it, but it glances. Um, Sasha, it is your turn. Okay, and um, Elzian's not going to get hit by nope. any any debris just yet, right? No, correct. No, not until my turn. Not until his turn. Okay. Mm. How many legendary resistances has this guy used so far? He's used two. Two. Mm. Uh, and is a legendary resistance he, like, as in he takes the half damage if it's a damage thing, or no, does it just straight up he succe it? He succeeds. If, if he fails, he can just decide to succeed. Correct. He would okay. take the half damage but, still but... if, say, okay. for example, it does half yeah. damage from a success, but yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Kick this guy's ass. Right, I'm it's getting rid of my my it. last escape. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting rid of my last escape rope, basically. So um, I'm casting... Uh, I, if, I, if I try and get away from this guy, um, all that's going to happen is I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. That's likely to do more damage his than attack his attack of opportunity range is beyond 10 feet, so if it's a ranged spell attack, you can move back 5 feet without worrying about it. Any further and you've got to worry It is about not it. a spell attack, it is a it is a, it is a DC thing. Am I am I good to... That That's fine in range or melee, it doesn't matter. Provided okay, you're cool. not overlapping the AoE with yourself. Right. Uh, in that case, I will ever so slightly <laughs> move out of his immediate range so that it, on the off chance he gets hit by the... Um, uh, something, something hits him, I'm not going to get the carapace if, if we okay. can help it. Three Felipe attacks, um, please. I'm casting. Yeah. Does that will... help? Yeah. That is true, gonna, I forgot about I'm that. I'm going to roll them all and then any that. I thought you were picking up d4s for advantage. attacking, then I was like, they're never going to oh, I mean, you may as well. I roll <laughs> one d4. Nope. Oh no. my good lord, Felipe. <laughs> Felipe is scared. There's now probably a frozen bit of something on the ice over there. Oh no. <laughs> it's big as well because it's Felipe. I'm so sorry about Felipe, but I'm about to light this motherfucker on fire. As the three, uh, as I'm, the casting, three I'm casting I'm casting Firestorm 7th level. Uh, that is 7d10 and it is a dexterity saving throw. I am encapsulating him in fire. That is a 24 um, on his dexterity saving throw. He succeeds. Okay, he succeeds. He takes half damage. Go ahead and roll. Uh, because of the half damage, Rook, I'll just roll it now for you. Well, that's going Thanks. on. Uh, could I... You take nine points of piercing damage. Uh, I'm bloody again. <laughs> good are you looking there? Uh, one sec, okay. I'll deal the damage and then I'll deal with that, okay? Yeah. Can you deal with that again? Yeah. I, 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 I can cast it as many times as necessary. Oh, just... I just need people to be bloody. So that is... 34 17. points of damage, halved to 17. 17. Okay. Is he looking bad? Worse than he was just now, but yeah. He's not looking terrible. Uh, and then, seeing as a thing has occurred, uh, where someone in my line of sight has become bloodied, I am going to, once again, uh, cast... Uh, oh, that's not right. That I put five in there. I should have put one. Okay, and I'm going to, once again... Uh, cast um, uh, the the 
Heart of Immolation, there we go. Uh, second level, uh, not second level, uh, fourth level this time. Um, and so I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to you do a, a basically a small a small inferno uh, and do damage rather than um, okay. thing. He's still within fifteen feet of me, so it'll still hit. Um, uh, it is deck save again, five d eight. That is a twenty three. He's fine. Uh, I, but wait, does he still take half damage on that? I need to check that. I should have. Yeah, half damage. Yeah, half damage. Um, so seventeen half. That is seventeen eight. Eight half to eight. Okay. And finally, bonus action. <laughs> Spiritual oh weapon coming in for the clutch. Okay. I just need to ask the question, can I feasibly knock him out with this? No. Okay, I not even would I know hit. that. No, but you're doing it, so Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go I'm so sorry guys, I'm just trying to deal as much just damage do. as possible. No, do it. It's That's fine. fine. I can hear the anger in my party, I'm scared for my life. <laughs> well, uh, that is a, a 20... Because you know, I'm coming for you, I'm coming for your warhammer. With a sledgehammer. <laughs> you already, bro uh, you already broke one of my other things. You don't Chris, to Chris, 21. 21? Chris, 21? Mm -hmm. Oh, for the attack roll. Yes, that just hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum damage, of course it is. Um, that is uh, six points of, damage, of, of force damage. Okay. Uh, Rook, you take, um, as a result of this, you take 11 points of piercing damage. God, Jesus I'm Christ. sorry. I'm so point, sorry. Man. That's what you do. No, you're fine. <laughs> End of fine. your turn. Legendary action. You have irked him. He's going to tail attack you. Who's you? Sasha. That is a... That's fair. No, that misses on an 18 to hit. The tail swings yeah. swings wide as he is otherwise very frustrated with the very durable dwarf ahead of him. Okay. Um, burn. <laughs> Alright. I am flying up. You see 14 metallurgies form. All 14. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. You're going to die. I am actually going to Die. You are going yeah. to die, so I'm going to say I will hold my action for Rook to move. That's for right. you can do that. I'm going to hold your action for all of them to attack him upon Rook's leaving the area. Upon Rook backing off, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's actually okay. that gives me the opportunity that I need. Excellent. Okay. So you can attack and then move just slightly out of range and then boom. End, yeah. end of that. He is going to use his tail attack once again on Sasha. Okay, that one hits on a 29. Nah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, nah? It does it. I, I have ruled that. Come on. Sasha takes Add 17 much points of bludgeoning damage. <coughs> Make me a strength saving throw, please. If you fail, you will fall prone. Well, I'm, 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 I'm still mathing this out, buddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah. Um, right, strength saving throw. Yes, please. Uh, are you sure that wouldn't be... Uh, 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 no, it's strength saving throw. No, so you'll fall, pr you're fall prone if you fail this, uh, which will cause you to take full damage. So, go ahead. What's the DC? Uh, and it's high, so I'm going to assume that fails, given you don't have proficiency. That's a 14. It's a 15, yeah. Yep, 15 or 14. 15. Either way. Yep. So, causes you to fall <sighs> prone, and you immediately get slammed down to the ground below because you are flying. Uh, you fall 30 feet. Uh, 30 feet is not, not beyond 60 feet, so I do not move up to D6s. As you take 7 points of bludgeoning damage. You still up? Uh, I'm alive. Okay. Barely. Okay. You are prone and you are on the ground down here. You cannot see anything because you're back in the fog. In the fog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rook, it is your turn. Right. Dropping Eldian, is that an action or what? As part of your movement, you can move over and you can freely drop him. There's no problem. Mm. The only thing is he has to be dropped in a free tile and you're 10 feet in the air right now. Yes, yeah, true. 
this here. Bugger me, I've pushed all just, 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 just put me, uh, just put me out of his, uh, yeah, his attack there. range, and I'm happy. So okay. if, if I go so you here, move over. drop yep. off. Right, I'm gonna go back Did here. That proc oh, hold on, hold on. Did that proc his? his nope, because he's still uh, within five feet of him. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't go too far, so. I don't even I am. Oh, well, went... actually, no, because you'd be there. twenty feet in the air. Yeah, he went there, which would take him out of range, which would proc his health. Well, it'll be here because he's a two by two. But well, yeah, well, well, it's still, it's still, yeah. he's. I'm out of the range, so it will proc my Still within five yeah. foot of Webvol. So here's how it was. If he was ten, if he was down ten feet, then yes. But because these are twenty foot high walls, he has to be twenty foot up. He is without range for but a moment as he otherwise um, puts Elzian down. Go ahead and roll me your attack rolls, Burn. Oh shit! You're not, you're not, <laughs> Rook, you're not within range. You won't take the glass. You're not within range. You're oh, fine. Thank God. This isn't working unless you were that. that no. Keep in mind, all of your weapons will be disabled after this for. Next I know, time. Don't worry. So what's the added to this? Plus 13. Plus 13. I will tell you what misses and I'll remove them. So you've rolled 8 so far and you have another 6 to go. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hits so far. Rolling another 6. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one just hits. Okay, so that's 10 hits. So that's 10d8 plus 10d6. Yeah, and just a general correction because I'm going to add this now because I might as well. Yeah. We did it wrong last time. He wasn't supposed to have a modifier for each weapon. It was just a he has not he has dice to roll, no modifiers. That was a mistake on my part. So yeah, go ahead and roll these. Forty-five plus plus ten d six. Plus 40, 85 damage. Jesus, them things are insane. They are, however, they come with a big penalty. He is up, but he is badly wounded. As each of the blades otherwise sticks into him, he otherwise uh, grunts with the pain as it strikes into him. <sighs> as his head turns, looking directly at you, Burn. Ah, fell. <laughs> no. no. Ah, hey. Help. 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 You don't deserve help. No, I lie. Okay. No, you do. With floppy Rook, eyes for the rest of your turn. Okay, well, bonus action, I'm going to Hunter's Mark. Actually cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. And I am going to just land next to him and well, go ballistic. Okay, close enough to next to him. There. Finally. Okay, go ahead and make me attack rolls. Okay, so it's three. Three attack rolls, yep. With a plus what? Four. Uh, plus eleven. This one misses, these two hit. I need to do this bit okay. at a time, because depending on how damage goes, there's a chance you might get knocked out before he does. Yes. Okay. Fair. Because something that I played wrong last time, you take damage when you miss an attack also from a, from striking him. As really? Hits his armor. What? Yeah. Because when you hit Why? his armor, it breaks a chunk off because you don't hit the flesh underneath, you hit the armor only. Okay. Interesting. Yes. That is something I played wrong last time, and that was my mistake. So I roll these in. Oh, so even if my four misses would have still propped the thing down. Uh, even with your four misses, yeah, they would have gone down. But because they all take the damage anyway at once, they would have all taken like yeah. four billion damage. They're down for a turn. Okay. So, with the first hit, playing this in order. Uh, I'm going to roll these two. Okay. Roll them. Okay. So we'll get to that when we get to and that. This. Okay. So, you deal 13 plus what? Uh, 13 plus six. So, 19 points of damage. Drops him down to that. Uh, you then take 12 damage. The second attack, which misses, causes you to take 9 points of piercing damage. That's fine. I'm the third attack, right. which now hits, doing 11 plus... And you take 11 points of damage as a result of that. That's perfectly fine. You're still up? I am still pretty good i'm gonna action surge as you move in and fly into range 
Oh. You get close to him, lifting your axe up. You swing it down. One collides into next to his uh, next to his front leg as he otherwise swings towards you with it. As you otherwise bring it back and go for a second, you carve off a number of the scales on the uh, a number of the shards, the carapace on the back of the neck, otherwise hurting your hand. As you bring your axe down, digging it into the neck. Do you wish to kill him? God, oh, yes. Well, please. I need to find. I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't kill him, I'm killing him next turn. It's up to I, you. This is Rock's moment. Hold on. Him. Hold on. Yeah, it's Rock, man. What are you doing? Are you killing him? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, but I'm gonna whisper in. This is for my granddad. As Asshole. you as you whisper, this is for my granddad, and you bring your hand down. The axe cleaves through his neck. You watch as the head. <laughs> falls from the front from the front of his body as his as the rest of him lands stumbles makes this strange gurgling sound as he hits the deck he is dead my god combat for the record, oh, that head is mine i am agreed a hundred percent okay I'm blood type. I... we'll lick it like a popsicle uh, <laughs> before, because this I needs have... to happen Okay, hold, hold, hold on. Yep, I what were you going to say, know. Quick Lord? Hold, hold on, let... Yeah, okay, Look, Malcolm? So that's your question? Uh, I just wanted to know, since I'm here, would I be able to see the sword with the M? Since it was a Yes, or something? you can. Alright, well then, since I see that he died, I'm going to go over to that. Okay. okay. Let's swap to some less intense music. Okay. As Webvile lies there, frozen and otherwise dead, blood beginning to spill out and freeze almost immediately as it hits the ground around. You I have the magic on though, and I'll try and catch some. Okay. Before it we'll get to that. So, Rook, you currently float, hovering <laughs> over the body. Felipe, at this point, the fear wears off. As you hold your axe there, the edge of it covered in blood. You pant but lower yourself down to the ground, into the snow, as you feel your legs kind of begin to give way with all the adrenaline in it now. The rest of you battered and bruised in various forms, as Sasha and Burn otherwise rise up out of the snow, and or out of the mist, looking about for the dragon, they see its corpse there. There is a moment of hurrah within each of you as this thing is dead. But it was a hard-fought battle. Have I still got fly? You still have fly for probably another... 30 cool. seconds. I'm gonna grab the head and Rook's just gonna fly up here and have a little cry to himself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to like interrupt this moment, but I am also getting up to the top bit because I feel like it's easier to go around the top bit than it is around the yeah. all the bottom bit. Chip. Uh, I'm going to be flying over to the corpse. Mm -hmm. To, I mean, the head's off, so guessing I don't need to do much to confirm it's dead. It is dead. As you as you look at it, you watch, and from your perspective, as you kind of hold Nightmaker, you can see the soul lingering. There is a moment of pause as it looks down at its form, looks up at you, as you have Nightmaker in hand. Okay, I'm just going to speak out Suck to it. That soul. <laughs> I'm just going to speak. I, I speak out to its um, its soul. Whatever enmities or prejudices you held in life all of that is over now although it although you've been nothing but a foe to me go in peace and as a question mm -hmm. given that this thing's paw I guess is considerably larger than my book of shadows can I still use uh, Chronicle of the Raven Queen on her? you can okay I call out. Uh, Rook, you knew this thing. Is there anything you want to know? Where my granddad's body is, if you can. Okay. I will, with some difficult, more placing the book to its hand than the hand on the book, mm -hmm. I hold my book up to its hand and I ask, where is the body of Rook's grandfather? You watch as the soul of the dragon looks down 
There's a moment of hate as you watch as chains wrap around it and its head swivels and turns. As it looks down into the center of the lair to this corpse right here. The one that Sasha landed near. I was standing right next to it. It is frozen and buried ten feet down in the ice. But it is there. The flesh torn off, only bones remain and frozen within ice. And you see the weapons. If not his, strangely enough, but gold and other things scattered around with this body and amongst them. Some form of prize or trophy taken, it seems. As the head of this indiv- as the head of the soul turns. They will find you. Pray you find a place to hide. <sighs> and the soul dissipates into the Nightmaker. Alright. Web file, let your let your hatred thaw in there. Okay. okay. I will say for purposes of this. While you're taking this, do you want to take a short rest as part of this? Um, yep. I would quite like to get the amber, assess the body, and then get the hell out of here. Well, I mean, Didn't I would also like to back. pick up all of the money you that can, we can like free it's the frozen. Back. It's it, frozen it's, money. It's, it's all frozen within the walls. You will take hours, oh, days, or weeks digging it out. When we have more time, we can. But I, I want, I want right, to we got to come back quick because I I am fully aware that this place will be raided. What were you saying, um, Elzin? Just yes. want to know that Elzin is just sitting in the snow, staring at the corpse, just chugging through the health potions he's got in his pack. <laughs> I'm flying I'm, I'm fly over in like the last ten seconds. Well, oh, are you all right, sweetheart? Are you all right? I saw you go down. What 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 happened? I was in the mist for a while. Fucking dragon happened. That's okay. fucking fair. Um, so Malcolm, do you, you want to dance up? on its corpse a bit? No. What's the point, Sasha? Every fight we get into, I just go down. What's the point? Well, you also summoned a really cool dragon. Yeah, lasted all six seconds. Six! And then a lot happened. I went down. But then we brought you back up. Yeah, you don't need a dance with a fight. What we need is a wizard. Not very good one of them, am I? Well, you're not doing too bad. Look, as it look, this wasn't really a great one because we all got blindsided by a giant fuck off cone of cold. I mean, dragon breath, cold, cold dragon breath, whatever yeah, the fuck it I is. Yeah, I get it. Yep. Uh, off the get-go, and that's not something that most uh, spellcasters are meant to deal with. I mean, I I know that your whole psionic thing previously made you uh, a little bit tankier than than most, but uh, I, we've got I to learn our limits. But we can uh, move. We can I'll... we can go past them. Mm, thank you. And we can work with them. Thank you. Thank you. Elson gives Sasha a hug. Right. Okay. okay, that's enough feelings. Yes, yes, let's, let's go move home. On. <coughs> Rook, are you looking off the edge of the mountain, past the dome, or...? Rook took a couple of seconds to himself, just because, you know, it's been intense. I'm okay. going to go down to Quake Lodge to find out if you found anything about... Okay. As you stand, as okay. you stand at the edge in your otherwise enlarged form, you look over across the edge, past the ice, you kind of smear it away, and you see the sight of an early morning sun rising. You see its beauty as it otherwise reflects off of the few mountain tops in this area and the clouds obscuring line of sight down below as winds begin to pick up on the outside world. Okay. I'm gonna... I guess I'll have to fly up a bit to do this, but I'm going to lay a lay a hand on on Rook's shoulder. Up <laughs> about like, like twelve, fifteen feet, yeah. Yeah. 
I can show you to where the body is. We can't stay here for long. Disposing of the dead is a sacred duty. Is it here or is it elsewhere? I will uh, gesture over to where mm. I um to where the, the soul pointed to. Thank you. Yeah. As you move over, you kind of look down in the ice, and as you squint, it's hard to tell with the heavy fog around. As you kind of crouch down and smear your hand across the ice, making kind of removing the flecks of frost that have formed, you look, and it's a bit blurry, but there is a Minotaur corpse down there. How do I get this out? If we take a short rest, I can get it out. Okay. If you could do that, I would appreciate that. Okay. All right. But we can't stay here much longer than that. No. It is fine. But for now, I'm grabbing the sword with the amber and I'm okay. taking the amber out of it. You, you, you're you taking it out of the blade? Uh, Yeah, it should be just in it. I should be able to just hand it. I don't have to hand the whole thing over to him, right? I should just have to hand the amber, right? Just the amber, yeah. But as you kind of go and you inspect the amber, it is set into the um, handle of the... or the hilt of the longsword all right i then i'll just take the whole thing over okay and i'll take the whole thing over and i'll be like and i'm suppose i'd be able to see the body that they're looking at after several minutes of prying it from a statue's hands you pull it out the hands break and crumble to the ground around as they kind of the stumps begin to slowly freeze over and cover in frost as you pull the blade free, you carry it over to where Rook is, and you see Rook otherwise kneeling down on the ice, looking downwards, and you see a Minotaur corpse down there. Isn't that him? Yeah, apparently so. It's nice yeah. to know that I am going to be able to retrieve his body. Looks at Malcolm. If you give me a little time, I can... A little rest, I can be able to get him out. That's fine. Do you want me to take that sword off your hands and put it with the other amber? Yes, this is yours. Okay. Can we, can uh, we just very the sword, carefully Chris? start coming over? Oh, so you two are taking a short rest, so you'll be able to move over in a moment. Yeah, I'm taking my short rest mm. just so I can get my uh, wild shape. Chris, I've got mm. nine potions of healing. Um, yeah. If you want to chug them all, you can. Keep in mind you've also got hit, hit die to use because you're taking a short rest, so it's up to you. I'll, t I'll just chug those potions. Can I try start me? rolling those? Yeah, I'm using all so, of mine. Yeah, Wait, I trust, no, I I trust you to roll mine. Two potions, 14. Oh, I'm, is... <coughs> okay. I'm using blood and I'm taking a short rest. So you're, you're drinking blood? Okay. I'm drinking blood and then I'm taking a short rest. After. Are you I'm taking the frozen or the stuff mm -hmm. inside? Uh, both. Both? Okay. You take like large chunks of it and you, you like put it in oh, one of the fine. vials or jars. You have this kind of large chunk of frozen dragon blood as it otherwise begins to crystallize over. As you take bits from the inside and just scoop it out, it doesn't freeze, as you do not expose it to the air. And it otherwise seems to be kind of sloshing around inside of it. It's not thick, but it's going to get there within the next few days. This is a jar of preservation storage. Oh, okay, so never mind. It will last yeah, like... The magical jar from it, it will last like six months. you got time. Okay. Mm. So, two face, so I'm not going to be taking a short rest. While Malcolm's resting up, I'm going to go over and then help burn roll, with yeah. the whole decapitating and claiming parts of dragon okay go ahead and make me a survival and, check please and secondly i'm gonna be using the book i don't know if that helps at all um it does it lowers the dc it means you can go after the valuable pieces okay. without worrying and about hard the, of it. and the sword how much does that weigh because it's going in the bag of holding uh two pounds, two pounds. Uh, oh, okay. i would also like to ask if you could please grab me a tea yeah i'll be doing that well that's on the head he's carrying so yeah I've i got just want to so. cool all right, um, so I need to make a Claws or bones for me! <laughs> bones I, I like everywhere. dark meat! <laughs> okay. okay, survival... Uh, so go ahead and roll me a survival okay. check, please, Rook. Oh. While this is all going on, where are you taking your short rests? You two are up here, kind of sat there, kind of keeping yourselves warm from the cold, the arcing gate 18. fades. Felipe, I'm mm. going to assume, lands, otherwise sat nearby, yeah, or using will. his wings to clear I... out the mist in the middle, I'll say. Yeah. Just so By the end of the short it. rest, his, his big form will have ended, so he'll just... Okay. Speaking of which... Yeah, he'll just be keeping himself busy. I'm just gonna... I'll say he oh, clears yeah. the place out of mist, and you have probably about two hours before it starts to actually settle back in and become full again. 
I'm just gonna wait here until it's time to for me to transform again, and then I'll get the body out. So I'm just gonna wait. Okay. The first time we came here, there was a sword that was covered in vines that was frozen. Where was it? If you want to make an investigation check, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to see if I can see where it was, because that was the only one that was like notable we saw. Yeah. Yes. Total. My investigation. That's not high. That's a four. Four. You look around and looking through, there is a lot of stuff that's either frozen or in this. You can spend the entirety of your short rest trying to find it, or you can take a short rest. No, take a short rest. Okay. okay. So. I was thinking uh, I was going to take a history check to see where it was. But okay. Uh, where do you want to be roughly? And for taking a short rest? Oh, some Probably where I was next to the body, like after I yanked the blood over here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> as you're all sat there, Rook, as you're otherwise clear, cleaving apart the body, what's your total? Eighteen. Eighteen. Easily enough, you otherwise begin to take away. There are no scales to take, as they are no, all non existent on this thing's form. However, as you have the skull, you have free reign at home to do a, cl a kind of a close job to. Uh, take the teeth and the fangs but in this situation you take the claws you otherwise snap uh, snap them off cleaving the fingers and sl and taking them out slowly but surely you manage to take uh, all 20 of the claws with that roll uh, the rest of its bones are otherwise less um, less accessible but you've got flesh you've got blood blood is valuable and can be used for, for a lot of alchemical yeah, potions as much as I can. So okay, I'll... Uh, I can also uh, ask for the heart. Yeah, hey, yeah. if you get the heart, if you eat it, it makes you Scottish. Okay. As you... I like the sound of Scottish. <laughs> so as you otherwise... As you otherwise What's Scottish? As you otherwise cleave into it and taking it, apart, taking it apart, you see the heart there. And you watch as out of its natural environment, it begins to slowly kind of turn black as it's now beginning to be affected by frostbite and rot. You will need to put it somewhere where it will be preserved. The heart itself is probably about two the, foot yeah, across. Okay, how big? Uh, I think two the jar across. was like five foot. No, the no, jar is not jar. five foot. The jar is like, right. it, it's like no, a I mug. Oh, the, it's like a mug. The jar was like, like a mass. big. No, uh, no, not a big jar. jar. No, not a big jar. Like small, like chemistry jars. Do oh. these things decompose in the aether? Oh, not Aether. Um... In the bag of holding, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're considered to be at ambient room temperature with air for 10 minutes, and then after that they're considered to just be within that similar space because they don't breathe. So it will rot in there. And by the nature of it, now being outside of its corpse, it's going to decompose quickly. You've got maybe about an hour before it will become useless. Okay, can I take the flesh and wrap the heart in the flesh? Okay. It won't... Is that something I can do? It won't... It will help insulate it, and I'll say it'll probably increase it by about half an hour. How long do we have? Uh, taking a short rest is half an hour, and then depending on the methods for digging up the body and any other investigations you want to do around here for loot and stuff, that will eat into your time. Because uh, I can teleport us out right now, and uh, we can try and save the heart. I want, I want to get the body first. Screw the heart, I want my, my granddad's body. Okay. <laughs> I care about that more than a dragon's heart. Yeah, the heart itself um, will be the heart without a proper way to store it and preserve it in some form of cold uh, environment. It's going to rot. Uh, okay. in a cold environment. Could I just ask, what is it that we're finding to do with the heart? I mean, it's probably worth something, right? It's worth a fair <laughs> bit. Dragon heart, it, dragon heart, if given to the correct seller or it's commissioned, can go for about fifteen thousand. But, uh, but as I you. But it's going to be one of those things you need to have either a prearranged cellar or a way to preserve it, which is going to be difficult. Uh, what does our do freezer it? work? A freezer? Our freezer back in the tavern. You don't have a freezer. You have a pantry. Oh. We, we specifically have a cold room, thank you very much. It's a cold room, not a freezer. It's a cold room, not a freezer. Yeah, that, we're, we're cold keeping, rooms are fridges. We're keeping the Hod's body in there for... No, you were storing have, him in the cellar. He an, rotted have, away a while ago. Yeah. Uh, and then you buried him. That's, that's I, have idea. I have an idea. Uh, I would like to let my little salamander friend be on it. 
on my the white heart. salamander. Okay. As you otherwise put otherwise, the small put salamander on it, it begins to chill it and slowly kind of remove the effects of it decomposing. I'll say it will I'll double say... its time, so it's got two hours. Unless you wish to wrap it in fresh, in which case it will have three hours. Yeah, yeah I'll wrap it in fresh. Uh, Abbott can uh, store it somewhere or make like a demi plane for it. Demi plane won't be able to. No, I, I can store demi plane, but we won't. I what, can. What if I just pump restorate like restorations into this thing? Anyways, can can we get the, we can figure out a way to yeah yeah, yeah yeah get get the granddad and leave. How long is it gonna take? Uh, well, how long would it take for me to be able to do it in a uh white dragon wormling form? Digging up the ice will probably take you about I'd say five minutes max. It's okay. thick. It's thick ice, but you got a bar, you got a burrow speed, so you'll be able to claw through the ice fairly efficiently. It's just deep down and trying not to break the corpse, or break any of the bones, shatter them, or miss any. You've got to try and excavate it around it and then pull it out. Yeah, I, I was thinking of like doing like a cube around it, making yeah. it the way. So I'll say that takes you five minutes. While that's going on, as you're all, as you're... some of you are taking a long rest, or not long rest, short rest, as Rook, you're kind of carving up the body. Um, and Burn, you're kind of sitting there and watching. Queglod, you're kind of leaning up against the uh, table with Malcolm there. You watch as there is a light glow, as the two of you notice this on your current level, to the right of Queglod, the immediate right, in the ice right here. Uh, I immediately look at it. Uh, detect magic? Using detect magic, this entire place lights up with a lot of different magical objects, some more potent than others. As you look down, you see what looks to be an orb. Bright and very much beaming with divination energy. As you look, you oh. see that the ice around this area is different to the rest. Where a lot of it's been packed and left, this area's been churned. The ice has been removed and replaced, moved and replaced, removed and replaced over and over again. This is something that Webval used. And as it glows... You watch as an eye, a slitted eye, looks through and up towards you and Malcolm, who look down at it. Oh, fuck. I don't want to... The eye is yellow and it squints. There's a pause, and then the orb shatters below the ice. Ah, oh, goddammit. Yellow eye. Hmm. It's almost <laughs> definitely another dragon. You wouldn't know this. The what? other two are currently down there. I mean, Malcolm would know this, but... I, I mean, it could be a dragon. It could be uh, something else also, but... Like... Malcolm, you heard anything about the, anything like this? Mm. Malcolm's going to think about it. Uh, out of all the research that he's done on dragons and anything like that... Has there any been anything about any any information that he might have gotten about people having uh, any information of people when they if they fought ancient dragons? Very few fight ancient dragons for good reason. Your really? knowledge is too thin for you to understand you haven't heard of anything like this before are either of you proficient in arcana i okay. i'm not uh so quite lot, you're welcome to make a arcana check this will be out of feather wings um pay grade magic wise yeah <laughs> You can make a. I, sorry, I, thought, yeah. I thought you said felipe and i was like um yeah i, sh I should think so yeah he has like a <laughs> uh 15. 15 you look down at it and you look up at malcolm you kind of look at his staff as you see a scrying orb hanging from malcolm's uh malcolm's attire and you look down it may have been a scrying orb previously maybe one fixed to a particular location you're unsure but that's the closest you can think of wait there's a scrying orb on me yeah well how else are you performing scry Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Come on. laughs> I forgot about that. 
<laughs> well, it, it was an orb that looked like an eye and was giving off divination magic. I assume it's some kind of of scrying, which means they know our faces. It must well. have had at least some special properties to shatter like that. I was told when I spoke to the soul they will find you. I have no idea who they is. Ooh. I don't suppose Webval had a mate at all. Hmm. Not that any of you can recall. I don't think so. It <laughs> we'll, might... we'll, have to do, we'll have to do some research. It might be good to either take this information to the Dragon Sanctuary, see what they know, Dragon Knights, or even Kathox. Hmm. I'll ask Abbott as well. Okay. As you dig up Rook's grandfather's corpse, Sasha and Elzion, is there anything you'd like to do while you've got time? Uh, well, whilst we're up there, I, I feel like we're a bit, you know, away from the, from the pack, as it were. We should probably, you know, uh, get down in in on it on in on this is that fair yeah um i'm i'm going to not with using the spell but just sort of generally commune with uh with a turan and try and see if she's guiding me anywhere at the moment okay uh go ahead and roll me i'll say a d100 this won't use your divine intervention but this will be to see if you can figure out where she might be guiding you <clears throat> 24 24 you sit there and think the only place you can think is that you know where these riddle where the why you got these ambers you know what riddle they're tied mm -hmm. to and you know where your destination mm -hmm. lies yep. Mount Volgrim. yep <laughs> hey welcome you know where's that amber gone <laughs> i've got it oh hey rook uh i'm 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 gonna need to i'm gonna need to fondle that orb you got there. It is an orb, right? I, no, Sasha. One I... shards, one's in our sword. Uh, as soon as we get back to the tavern, you can have them. Sasha, don't Currently offer to fondle men's them. orbs. They'll get the wrong idea. <laughs> He's um, married! Chris, and she'd castrate up. him! God, yeah. Just to clear up what I did get. So I've got a dragon heart, cl 20 claws, I've got the head. Did I get any skin and blood? Uh, yes, you would have gotten blood, putting them in the jars and vials that you have access to, plus all the ones that Elzin's just chugged. Um, you'd probably I have... Like I chugged nine healing potions. So I'd say you nice. have about 15 vials and three jars of uh, dragon's blood. Okay, three jars. I, I want it known that I'm out of regular potions of healing. Uh, I, I am going to be going on spending food to get some better he po healing potions. Okay. That might actually do something. So, is there anything that you would like to do while you're still here, while Malcolm's busy digging up the corpse, or after Malcolm's finished digging up the corpse? Uh, no. How much blood? Do I... oh, uh, how much skin did I get? Uh, he hasn't got skin. It's just muscle. Oh, okay. Rich do... muscle. <laughs> still muscle. You can. It wouldn't well, have just, a value. Just though. saying. <laughs> no, deeply horrifying. Want... Yeah. No. Well, there's. I guess I'll start drawing the teleportation circle. There's a I pile want... behind me. Can I start smashing that? How deep is that gold? Uh, probably about a few inches in. So it's it, there is some of it, and it's scattered around in pieces. It's not in a pile. It is like okay. scattered pieces, kind of in around, giving this almost starry and glassy look as the light is filtering in from the outside. Now, the uh, inside of this chamber is lit up brightly, and it begins to shine and sparkle quite a lot in here. Do I know if any part of a dragon is edible? Uh, most dragons don't have a edible side to them. People typically don't hunt them for food for their meat. You'd be entirely going off the book in terms of what you might otherwise know. Um, but maybe. Actually, with the book that you just got, you'd know that dragons can be eaten, but they're eaten only in desperate and t uh, desperate times and measures because the meat is tough and usually tastes fairly rotten after being uh, cooked depending on the type of dragon given mm. the nature of its death well that's curiosity anyways i'm good to go dragon eggs on the other hand 
I don't I have the best I've got omelets. Does, does he have eggs hidden underneath of his tongue, Chris? No. <laughs> what about? Yeah, yeah. Just inspect the head. <laughs> no, it's a big head. As, it's a big head as well, by the way. So once you yeah, shrink, not you're not going to be able I'm to holding. carry it. Like oh right. You, or okay. you'll have difficulty carrying it. So keep that in mind. It's a big head. That's it's got, nice it's got two skulls on it. it. So I think we should go. True. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You gather up if the corpse. If anything comes here, we don't have the means to fight, so we'll come back and scavenge later. Okay. Mm. You look around at all the things that you're leaving behind. You consciously make the I decision that you. So I can teleport back here with huh? decisions. I grab something so I can teleport here with decisions. What do you grab? Um, uh, what's there that would last? A bone? Uh, bone's probably not specific enough. Um. um... One of its what about, bones? What about Web, what about Web left testicle? <laughs> I can get that. One of Web Vol's bones, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Uh, going over to Web Vol, you kind of look at its tail, and you see like the bones decorated on the outside of Web Vol, and you kind of just pluck one of the bones. It's about the, probably about the size of your hat. You can hold it safely in your hand. You could use it as an improvised club if you wanted to. But it's this large tail bone, which you otherwise hold on to. It's a big one, but it works. Pure, pure well, curiosity here. Um, what's the situation with dragon testicles? Hmm? Uh, no. <laughs> no, as Malcolm just cries inside. Like, do not. No, no, you're not allowed. Stop. Uh, Sasha's new necklace. God. Oh, Elzin, enjoy that one. <sighs> no, it'll be my new punching bag. Remember? Oh. Please. <laughs> That's. <laughs> if I never see a dragon again, it'll be too soon. That's not gonna well, happen. Well, get ready. You're about to meet a red one. Yeah, you've got a dragon for us uh, for a god stepmom. You're... No. Oh, god mom in law. God mom in law. Right. Yeah, that, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah there. you made it Let's... less weird there, okay. Sasha. Wait, 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 tell me your children. It's my mother in law. Wait a minute, we're not married! Yes. yes. <laughs> Teleportation is cast, leaving Elgin behind as he runs away from Sasha. <laughs> no, we ready? You're getting away, yeah, You're getting away bitch. Ready. I've, I've, got, I've collected my granddad's body. It's in the bag of holding. Okay. I'll just clear that up. You collect the bag. Yeah. The bag. How heavy is that? While he's digging. Uh, given that it'll be a chunk of ice, probably 150, 200 pounds. That's fine. I can deal with 200 pounds. Okay. Alright. So you were, yeah. what were you saying? Uh, Burn, you were drawing the oh, teleport? I said, yeah, I was doing a teleportation circle while he was digging down. Okay. You finish up the teleportation circle, everybody goes through as you're heading where? Uh, to our tavern. And I will immediately tell Abbott to save the dragon heart. I was going to go down to Gree. Okay. I both of them probably. I figured Gree would probably be more equipped for this. Maybe. Okay. As you otherwise land back in the otherwise welcome land of the uh, people of this world back in Adamanthia. There we go. Got it in the end. Your feet collide with the surface of Abod's tower. You uh, otherwise hear the outside world as a light little bit of rain is now falling against the uh, Abod's tower as he sits there. As you come back, he turns to look at you all and immediately opens with the expression of You look like death. Shut up, Apple. Shut up, save this point. An ancient white dragon will do that to you. Just pats the head. Save oh, this oh, point right now. Where's Gree? Yeah, we, we have a heart. Like... And he saves us. Rook begins to shrink at this point, carrying the head. I I am going to take a, another potion of growth just so I can still Wait. move the bloody Keep thing. Keep in mind, Wait, you won't be don't... able to fit through the oh. door if you take that. True. Wait, I've got, I've got an idea. Uh, I need to make sure I've got the spell slot to do this. Enlarge reduce. And I've got it. No, not enlarge reduce. I don't have. I don't have transmutation spells. Please, I've got telekinesis instead. 
Let's see if I've actually got it prepared. I do! How long does it last? Uh, let me double check. How long is it? If it's a minute or an hour or ten minutes or... Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm checking. Um, remember when I used to be able to do this at will? Heffridge Farm remembers. Uh, it lasts up to ten minutes. <laughs> that was a very specific meme. <laughs> yeah, that was an incredibly specific reference. Hey. Uh, so there we go. It does it here. Uh, it does. Yes, and it can lift up to anything up to a thousand pounds of weight. Okay, uh, you're fine lifting the head. Ten minutes. You're just about able to lift the head, given its kind of solid bone and muscle of this thing. You lift it up as Abod kind of looks and goes, So you want me to preserve a heart and a head? I can pickle them, uh, but that's about the extent of it. No, no, the head, I'm going to work out what to do with. The the heart, we need to I'm try and find a way. Maybe Bri or someone? We've got to keep it cold, preserve it. Um, hmm. There aren't really any good facilities for that sort of thing here. You can take it to Gri. He'll probably buy it off of you and use it immediately rather than yeah, that preserve like it. Yeah, that's if that's what you're after, that's fine. I believe he has a deal with you about that sort of thing already. Looking at yeah. you, Rook. Yeah, he does. Burn, shall we go to Grey, quick? Yeah, let's um, go. Elzian, can I leave you with a head? Um, just dump uh, it in my room. Uh, you <laughs> know what? my room in there. Um, <laughs> dump it in Chris, there. would it be possible for me to sit on the head as I float it about? I don't know. I, I am sitting on the head. Don't worry, I'll take it, take it to your room. Oh, top of the door cell. Um, thank, thank you. Uh, uh, Elson lies back as not not to bang his head on any doors as he goes through. Me and Bern are gonna run to Gree. Okay. You head down towards Gree. You um, are traveling, traveling down the stairs, otherwise carrying the, uh, carrying the. Very much decomposing heart, but as you quickly kind of f just, I don't know, ship hand, carry like a large box downwards, you otherwise carry her over your shoulder uh, as you begin to make your way down. A few individuals kind of on their way pass you in the hallway down from your tavern, and they kind of stop and they quickly move out of the way, very much realizing that whatever's going on, it's regarding a, uh, a very big object. Of run past them. Thank you, sorry, flesh. bye. As you kind of shift past, you head into the tavern. You, or not the tavern. You head into the web's treasures. You see the three giant spiders there, Arachne and two others. As you travel down into the main cellar of it, into the back area where you see Abod currently um, otherwise lying on a lounge sofa with what looks to be a cup of tea in hand um, and what looks to be a small plate of crumpets next to him, as he's otherwise uh, just lying back and watching as you enter. He kind of lifts his head. Um, can I help you? Gree. Where's Gree? Uh, Gree's in his workshop. He's doing his morning ritual. You'll have to get back to him. Ah, uh, we have a dragon heart that's rotting. Um, hmm. He moves over. Mind if I take a look? Eh, yeah, go for it. Uh, I assume the the salamander is still on it. Salamander still on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. He. It needs to be kept cold. That's fine. He lifts the salamander off and places it on Rook's shoulder. As he places his hands together, pulls away and casts cone of cold on it. Um. Oh, man, I could do that too. You watch as, it other, uh, as he otherwise focuses the spell, it begins to freeze in this sphere and is now rollable. Uh, he looks at it and goes, huh. that should hold it for the next hours, next few hours. I'll give this to Gree. Is it a gift or are you looking for payment? Uh... No payment. Money. Oh, there. All of them. A half. I, actually, just, just call it evens on the jars. I, I do want to get six more jars from Gree. If I can, because oh. I have filled some with dragon blood. He look, looks at you and goes, explains the heart and understandable. I'll speak to Gree about it. You can do business when he's ready. It's fine. I'll leave this here for distilling as well, and I give him my jar. Okay. He takes it, looks at it. If you have any more for sale, I might take some. I might be able to use this for components. 
I have four jars and 16 vials if you want to buy some of them. I'll buy a jar of you for 3,000. Yeah. It's still. cheaper than the usual going rate, but I mean, I'd get some from Gree either way. This is just a no. upfront. No, that's, that's cool. That helped me. Okay. So take 300 platinum as he takes one of the jars off your hand. I'll send the jar back up to your tavern room either or Thank when I'm finished with it. Oh, just excuse a giant dragon head that's going to be in my bedroom. I need to work. Out I what won't to do be going back. I won't be going up there. But, well, I could. He can't. He he ponders around. I haven't been to the outside too much. I heard my simulacrum went on a little bit of a fun date as well. Yeah. Yeah, he did. If you would like to oh, wait, invite the rest of us, he along... died or the time he fucked. Uh, Harlan, you're not there. Not again, I'm Just sorry. Talk. If you'd like to invite the rest of us along, that would also be appreciated. Next time, that is. Otherwise, I've had free time to wander around and do as I need to. Oh, that's pretty rare. Fair. Okay. Well, with Kizrin dead, I no longer need to worry about her taking my head anymore. So all I have to do is wander around. I'm free to go where I want. No one's noticed yet, but I've left the city at least once. Really pushing that boat. Look, I like my freedom now. I'm not just going That's to give it fair. away. Well, in regards to components, if you need anything else, I have got some claws. Mm. Don't know if you ever need them. Claws less so, but I could make a few amulets. They are a high-grading material. I wouldn't mind, but mm, I would don't have a use for it. Green might no, potions-wise, because you can grind down the marrow, but outside of that, not really. But I well, there you go. Right, well, if I can leave this with you to pass on to Gree. I will. Um, I'll... Just let her know that it was from, from Rook and Co. And for the sake of Sasha, kiss, kiss, kiss. I might skip out that last part, but sure. Mm. Uh, I never understood it either. It's a Sasha thing. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Burn, anything else you need to do? No, just tell them to the still miner. It's not for sale, it's for drinking. I know, you'll be drinking it. Yeah. Don't worry. Is it, is yeah. it safe gonna... to drink dragon blood? We'll find out. Fair oh point. Oh my god. Just, just do it when you've palms. do it when you've got time. I heard what happened with the brain juice. Yeah, oh wait. Will do. I'm not giving up my lounge for you staying here, so. Oh, I've got a chair for that, so don't worry. Actually, are you busy at the moment, you lot? Uh, we just what? teleported back from an ancient dragon fight. No, uh, I, I mean in general. Will you be free tomorrow, or are you busy? As far as I know, I think we're probably going to be free. I think we're going to recover, because I, I know we've got to go to something with Sasha and some Amber. I've got to go to Malt. Vulcrum, I believe it is. Yeah. But I don't know if we're doing that imminently or Mount Vulcan, day or you so. said. Yeah. Ooh, that would be good, actually. Uh, I'm okay. looking for potion ingredients. Grease teaching me various potions, and I thought I might undertake the task. If you could bring back s reagents that you find, I'll, I'll probably, hmm, I'll probably eighty percent of the going rate flat. It's uh, not a hundred percent, but. What, what are you looking for, exactly? Plants. That's about it. Anything that works with potions. Gree knows more. All I know is he's complaining that I'm using his reagents for training. So if you could uh, get any more... When, when's he going to be free? When Gree gets free, does Gree know sending? He does, Do you know yes. sending? Can you I just get him to can... call me and I'll... Can I deal with sending? Yep. Yeah, so. Let me tell for a tech. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he'd know it. I can, just, yes. Just get him to send me a send in, I'll meet up with him and we'll go over the whole yeah, we'll thing back. and Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. He'll be free Cheers. in probably three hours if he'll be about, otherwise if not probably. then Probably I need oh, to warm yeah. up. I need a strong, strong drink. Yes. Fair enough. Oh, you do not take care. You lot take care. I'll speak to Gree about all of this. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Take care. 
You head back to the rest of the party with a head otherwise available to you, the rest of the party. Is there anything you want to do today? Or is today going to consist of relaxing after that? I would like Sasha to send one sending for me if she has a spell slot for it. Well, Sasha? You're muted. Hello! Hello, I am back. Um... I, I have spell slots, I got the thing. What uh, You know the drill. What do you want me to say? Who do you want me to send it to? I would like for you to send a sending to Zudigan, the Brittle Winds. Uh, I would like for you to inform him that uh, Malcolm sends a message saying we the my party and I have defeated Webwell. Okay. Please try and keep uh, if you can, please keep the area here. If that or invest or er, like, loot it all. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Don't yeah. be a shady little bitch. I, okay, if you want to say that to an ancient white dragon, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, fair, I, fine, fine. I, 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 <laughs> the the only reason means. I'm doing that is because I can't pretend it's you sending it. Uh, <laughs> that is the only reason I'm not saying that, and I hope you know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you send, you send the sending. Um, getting the information across that you've otherwise vanquished Webval and to keep the area generally secure slash investigated. You hear a response yeah. back of Impressive, but have you dispatched of the Frost Giants too? If not, we can handle them from here. We can't secure the area that far to the east, though. Well, that is the response. I, re I relate this to Malcolm. I mean, the answer to his question is no, so... No. Uh, no, but... Okay, once Malcolm has has a full thing to send back, I, I will be ready to send, say something. Whatever it may be. Um... If, Basically, if I'm just one of to do in the meantime, what part of the dragon do we have more than one of? Like scales, teeth, claws? No scales. Teeth no and scales. claws. Okay. No scales because he, ha he has none. They all came off as a result of his many that scars and point. wounds. So we have teeth, claws, and blood? Correct. Yeah, we have, yes. May I borrow or potentially use one of each? Or yeah, I'll give him a vial of blood. Um... I haven't actually taken the teeth out of the skull. I was going to do that later tonight. When and I'll it, give when him a claw. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. I'll pass a claw and a vial of blood over. If these end up getting used up, I'll reimburse you for them. Otherwise, ah. I'll give them back to you. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry. If it can better things, then I'm all for that. Hmm. Getting onto it now. Hmm. Um. Okay, um, I have my reply. Actually, I guess I'll give it to you after the meeting. Yeah, whenever, whenever that gets done. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to I'm put those that, things I'm in. I'm in no huge rush. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. oh, whoops. <sighs> Okay. Anything else you'd like to do during this time? Uh, or just rest? Uh, I'd, uh, 
writing a report to about the plan on the or for the Prince of Blood to send back to uh, my organization. Okay. Okay. You send the message back to them, informing them of the plan, and your general plan is. I I inform them that the two guys are going to be working with us, and we'll be. <laughs> I'll send them further details about it, but I'm going to need them to make a distraction, basically. Okay. You otherwise get a response um, relatively quickly saying you're in charge. Do you wish to command them or have one of us do it? Uh, is one of us? One of us is one of the people who are above you, so one of the six leaders. One of them, please. Okay. Two, three, four. You get a response of, tell us when and where, and we will take care of it. Yes. Okay, I have my response. <sighs> okay, what is your response? You may as well say it out yourself. Uh, no, we haven't, but we plan to return there eventually uh can we stop by to get insight on information we gathered while there should be 24. okay you get the response back understood coming to the sanctuary will be difficult with war going on i'm afraid not but I'll let you know if I can. Sweet. Okay. So. As you otherwise rest up somewhat, you each have your long rest, taking some time to yourself. So apply your long rest. And it is at this Yay. point, I might as well say, you level up as a result of this. Yay. So if you would like to go ahead and roll your hit die for leveling up, you are level 16, so think about your abilities for improvement. It will be applying at the start of next session. Do you have feats or stats to choose? Remember re-rolling any ones you get? Got a two. Yeah. The next worst. <laughs> make sure you note down and you so... apply the level up to, your cha to the change on your character sheet as well, so make sure you do that. Um, so oh, it automatically puts it automatically does the con. It automatically does the con thing, it, so long as you just add the plus and you just up your level, it should do it all. Got it. Yep. Ah, uh, I've cool. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to say. Uh, Elgin would like to uh, try and find some stuff to make some uh, stronger healing potions. Okay. Because he is proficient with herbalism. Yep. So. Uh, that's the one rerolling. We, we can do that out of session. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey. Yes. You know what this means. What? What? Fire a little late. Yeah! They get their second ability to improvement. Alright, I will say, Elzion, with the kind of looking around for better ingredients for herbalism, um, going out and gathering would take probably an expedition, so several days of travelling to look around, that sort I of mean, thing. I mean, I was, I was just going to go into town and see what there was that might sell some stuff. Look, going into town, there are alchemists that otherwise sell stuff. They don't necessarily sell the ingredients, but they do. Um, mm. uh, but they do sell the potions themselves for better potions. As you're kind of looking around and doing all this, you kind of sit back and you look outside, just as you kind of go back to your tavern. You go up to your room, you stand on the balcony and look out, and you see, out back in your garden, a rather large tree and a dryad otherwise tending a garden out there. And suddenly it thinks with you, Ah, that's right, she's making healing potions. Yeah. She's and making she, healing are, potions and growing stuff for you. And growing yeah. stuff. As you look around, are there are... good healing potions? You have a number of healing potions that are basic healing potions, and you have the necessary ingredients to make greater healing potions. However, it will take probably a day to make one or so. I'll need to check the chart and we'll sort that out of character. But 
for the most part, you have the ingredients available to you as part of your garden to make better healing potions. Okay. Cool. Okay. You rest up, you wake up the next day, just so I can understand where you will be going, what, or so you can discuss your plan. What is your plan for the day, on the next day? To be honest, I wanted to start heading towards Barrenland, but... I think we might have to do Mount Fulgrim first, because that way I can finish my axe. It's not actually finished yet, just to clear that up. Yeah, you look at it and the symbol has not oh. lit up yet. Why? I can only assume it must be to do with the crucible and the dragon's head. I don't really know what significance the dragon's head has because Gling the dragon didn't seem to work. Sasha, any ideas? Is there anything at Mount well, Fulgrim to do with drag? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, there is a dragon that goes there and is a bastard and might have killed my family. So, um. Surely what we can't another have one. No, because it was linked with the amber. How, isn't Mount Fulgrim a forge linked to your god? Yes, we we do. Yes, the the, the amber are, are mixed to it, uh, are mixed with, and the dragon is linked to Mount Fulgrim. Um, if we we can also get the divine forge of a Toran at, at at the Mount Fulgrim, I think. So that might be what it's about. Um, okay. So to finish the axe, I feel we might have to go to Mount Fulgrim. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of an endeavor, and I swear to god I'm not fighting oh, if we're right heading there, and stock up some fire resistance. Hmm. Since the matter of other dragons came up, uh, just one thing I want you all to be aware of. After the fight, me and Malcolm noticed something. And uh -huh. I seem to be buried. An eye-like orb that seemed to be buried underneath the ice. It seemed very much like a dragon's eye with a slit pupil. Uh, I guess in that case, I'm going to go see if I can find Kathox in the tavern. While they're discussing about this? Mm -hmm. While they're discussing about this in the morning, or...? Uh... Yeah, I this is guess. the next day at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to talk to him about it, see if he knew anything about it, so I might as well. I already knew the information of finding the thing, so. For finding I'm the hoping thing? He... Yeah, the, the, the orb that we... Uh. Yeah, he was there, so he knows everything I'm going okay. to yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's, it, yeah, it seemed very much like a orb of scrying, but after it got a look at us, it shattered. Oh, thank God you said shattered! I honestly thought you were going to say shat itself. Um, oh, that'd be nice. No, oh, it would be, wouldn't it? I think. I wasn't invisible, right? Uh, uh. He said, I, was I it think... invisible? No, because no. I wouldn't have seen yeah, it. No, Malcolm no. I, I think it's something like this points to Malcolm's orb. I think it's used to scry? From what I can get from them talking? This thing? Yeah, <laughs> but similar. Malcolm's orb you have on your end to see from far away. Hmm. Well, it's not completely out of the realms of possibility. You know, if if another dragon was keeping tabs on Wedval, it might be like a, it might be like a like a sending stone type thing where there could be like scrying orbs linked with each other. That could make sense. Yeah, because scrying orbs are. Technically invisible, too, right? Normally, yes. Well, a telephone. It now, unfortunately, knows my face as, long, as well as Malcolm's. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't know my face. You were there and you looked down at it, it knows your face. I looked at it when I was in Dragon, because this was while I was digging out the corpse. This was during the long, this was during the short rest before you turned into a dragon. So oh, I thought it was 
I thought no. it was while well, taking it. No, this was during the short rest. Wait, it was during the short rest. I had my mask. Because Big Felipe was still. That is true. So it only knows my face. Woo! It, however, it should know, should still know enough about me, given the Raven Queen mask, to potentially be able to track me down. What, I've, what I don't know, and we currently have no evidence for, but we need to prepare for the worst, is whether it's done, it knows anything else about us. If it only knows our appearances, that's enough for it to get started, but if it told it anything more, that was relatively powerful divination magic, so... Mm. If it learned anything about our name, or anything that we've set a trail for it to follow, is that could be an encounter that occurs very soon. Is the tavern protected from divination magic? Only Abel oh, Tower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might I just, just set up a check. scene in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to check with Detect Magic that me and Malcolm don't have anything. Wrong oh, 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 I did not uh, notice uh, anything at the time, but it's possible. Hmm. Roll me a perception check. Yeah. I think it would be useful if you have that up, like almost always, if you know. It's never safe. You otherwise look around, you don't see anything. You should try and have that up as much as you can. Even if she does, it's un it's not necessarily likely she'll see it. Um, because yeah. seeing a scry see orb, even though it's invisible and you can see it because it's a glowing beacon, unless you're actively looking for it and it's behind you most of the time, it, she won't see it from herself. She'll see Mal if it targets Malcolm, she'll see it. But if it targets her, she won't be able to. Yeah, I'm just saying, just in general. In general, yes. Well. Whilst... If, if we're just waiting for a few moments for this morning, I'm going to go and wait in Elwood's tower, just to make doubly sure. I'll okay. see if he, he has any opinions on the matter as well. Okay. How long are we planning on waiting around for? Are we going out today, or will we... Just gonna have a day to try and regroup and then go Mount Volgram. I mean, we're gonna have to go to the shops to get potions of heat resistance. So, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to commission a coffin. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Is it for you? No, it's for, you it for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, Are we um... getting to Mount Volgram? Running, but fast. Uh, have you yeah, been? I haven't before? been anywhere close to Mount Volgrim, from what I remember. Well, we've been to the Dragon Sanctuary. Maybe. I, uh, maybe I for once we might have to actually walk somewhere. I think the whole has. Burn hasn't. Yeah, Burn hasn't. you have. I, I can. Get, I can um, still can, get us to there. Because I've been to the gateway. Yeah, he can get they, us there. Then you have right. tree stride. Yeah, tree yeah. stride, and then we can fly up there. I guess. Transport via plants, yeah. Okay. Alright. I guess we'll take some time, get ready, and then we'll move midway. Okay. okay. Do, so, do you want to take a day? Just to we'll sort of gather up and stuff we need? A couple of hours, like five or six hours, get ready, and then we can head out. Five or six hours, okay. 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 So, after the party's long rest and a long day, otherwise vanquishing Webvile, and otherwise arriving back at their tower very much rested. The party prepares for the next day and prepares for their journey to Mount Volgrim. Out of character. Somewhere mm -hmm. far off. The words of an ancient tongue echo through something undescribed unspoken two beady yellow eyes stare out slitted ones that the party has now seen for the first time 
the form hidden by darkness as it stands there staring down at a arcane-like sigil. The skull of a dragon in the center as it speaks word in an ancient tongue. Other words and voices join it in unison as more eyes begin to peer. The ground around becomes chilled and broken as words are muttered. Soon. Very soon. And that is where we will end our tonight's session for tonight. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and we will see you next week where this story will continue. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.